Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for Hyperforce! <laughs> into our ranger cells. I am Malika Lim, the GM of this show, and I'm gonna give you a quick recap of what happened so you know where we all are. Real quick, our rangers, they crash landed in a questionable time slash place. These are time traveling rangers. They're not quite sure where they are, but one thing is certain, the world has ended, and the few remaining survivors are hurrying to Corinth. Our rangers are accompanying these uh, stragglers that they've found and unfortunately they get captured and Vesper, our black hyperforce ranger, gets infected with Vengex, the evil virus that is destroying this world and unfortunately she made an attack on the team and wounded Eddie, Eddie quite, quite a bit, quite a bit. Thus, the uh, healing charge card. You're welcome. You're welcome, Eddie. Thank you. All right, we're going to cut away to a very sinister scene away from our rangers. This is a scene with Kilobyte, and he is receiving a message. He's in a dark room, and there is a large screen, and he is silhouetted, uh, front lit, and there is a huge red light. He stares into the giant red light like a fireball and the light speaks to him i am intrigued by the appearance of these new strangers and their advanced android technology we must investigate further seize any technological artifact in their possession i am sending shifter to retrieve them immediately their time will soon be over that's the end of that scene there. You rangers did not see that. That's just for the chat room. What? Yeah. All right. So Marv, Chloe, Eddie, who was just dragged away. So now we're just with Marv, Chloe, and Jack. A giant containment cell just fell over you guys. There are bars, like you're in a, a jailed cell. There is no way out through the top, and there's a, uh, it's fully enclosed. There's no doors. And are the other uh, members with us? I mean, uh, the other people that were the <coughs> civilians? Uh, the civilians have been corralled away, but they are not in that containment box with you. What the hell happened, dude? I don't know, Marv. I'm gonna walk around the perimeter of this, uh cage structure. No, no, I mean, you, 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 we all heard what Vespa was saying. What's going on? Suddenly, one, two, three of these grinders, silver robots with copper armor, they march around four, five, and they whip out batons, and then they click a button on their baton, and there's an electric charge, like a taser, buzzing at their batons. They poke them through the bars at you, Marv, Chloe, <laughs> Chloe, and Jack. And, Can we do the uh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought they were going to perform for us. This is not fun. And they make contact with you. You can try to dodge, but eventually you get hit and you're completely <laughs> knocked out. It is extremely painful. All of us? I hate all, all of us. Yeah. All of us. Oh, Marv, oh. Chloe, and Jack. You get hit by these batons. They actually retract out into the cell and you feel like you cannot control your body and you're, you're blacked out, but you can kind of see what is happening. And then those silver arms from these grinders reach in through the bars. No! And they take your morphers. I slap the hand <laughs> with my strong spirit energy that is of the Pink Ranger. 
Nice. I'm passed out, so uh... All right, uh, roll 1d6 for me. Only one? I'm like more though. <laughs> well, they're... I'm sure they probably try to push a button on your morpher. I don't know. I, don't, I was like guarding it. I was like, I was sneaky with my stealth. All right, go ahead. One. All right, I'll give you two. Yes. What should be double ones? Oh, hey. five. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> not good How many grinders were there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, as you try to raise an arm to slap one away, I'll let you slap him. Yes. But another one reaches in from the other side and takes your morpher. They play dirty. Oh. And are Man. we still all passed out? Man, take take that morpher off her. She's not allowed to wear that thing. Oh right no. Now. <laughs> slap him. Ah! <laughs> you quickly feel um, Chloe, Marv, and Jack, maybe a little bit of feeling regaining into your body. However, you feel the floor underneath you shake of the containment cell. And then slowly, just like an elevator starting, the containment cell lowers. I don't understand what's going on. You feel some of your energy returning back to you. Maybe you can uh, prop yourself up on one elbow or a knee. Maybe slowly climb up as the containment cell lowers over on one side you can see what looks to be a factory there are many levels a conveyor belt on the far wall long tables and workbenches many grinders slaving away it looks like they're sorting through cogs bits of metal springs and you feel the heat of a forge, you assume that maybe they're they're forging some kind of weapons or armor, something metal, something, something tells me Vesper is behind this. Well, Vesper tells me that you are behind this. I you know, feel really confused. Yeah, me me too, because uh, you drew a weapon on me. What am I supposed to do? You you came at us and we had two people telling us that you were dangerous. Or, sorry, maybe one. I can't really remember right now. My memory's kind of foggy. But look, with our past, I don't know if I can trust you, man. And right now, I don't I don't know if I can still trust you. I don't have my gun on me, but how can we trust you? Yeah, I don't trust you either. How can we? How can you prove to us that you're not whatever happened out there? That's not your doing. Well, I'll tell you how because my only goal is to help you all survive. Oh, it's to help me survive? So kicking me out of the time force, that's to help me survive. Whoa. You ratted on me for that? No, I ratted on you. So you admit because, you ratted on me. Because, you, you, look, I, I told you before, it didn't happen the way you thought it did. Then what happened, Jack? Sometimes wait, 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 there wait, are, wait, wait, wait. Marvin. Wait, hold on. You know all this. You, you know all this. That, that means you can't be mind controlled. If you're not mind controlled, then that means... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I thought you guys were gonna fight. Wait, no, Eddie. Eddie, Vesper. Vesper told us that, that Jack is evil, but if Jack remembers, he, he remembers all of this, this is something that he could only know if this was Jack. That means something's wrong with Eddie. Something's going, something's going on. I, I think Vesper may have turned on us. It's that virus, Vengex. What? Well, how could the virus affect? How could it affect Vesper? How? As you uh, begin to talk about Eddie and Vesper, the containment cell slowly uh, approaches what it looks like the landing pad, right? And in front of you is the factory. Lots of things are going on, being built. Metal is being melted. Behind you, you could see before you lo were lowered beyond some walls. There are other containment cells. The, the hostages, the prisoners that were traveling along with you and M, uh, they are in these containment cells. And now, you guys, imagine being lowered into a box with four sides. The four sides are four walls. However, the four walls are not connected by corners. So there is a wall in front of you, a wall behind you, and a wall to your sides outside your con containment cell, but you can see that there's a long haul going this way and a long haul going that way. So if you go forward, there will be 
the containment cells of the hostages. If you go this way, you will go into the factory where you saw lots of things being sorted and created and all sorts of sinister oh, creations. Okay. Um, if you could leave your oh, containment okay. cell. As you get lowered down slowly and you finally stop and rest on the floor, mm -hmm. on the right hand side, there's another containment cell and there's a sullen but healthy looking young man to your right and to your left. There's the limp and crumpled body of your friend, Eddie. Eddie! Oh God, I was right, I was right. How is he? I'll try to oh, get no. his head up and try to check for vital uh, signs to find out how he is. Can, uh, is he close enough for us to reach? No, he is not close enough oh. for you to reach. He's at the center of your cell. So even if you uh, push your body and your arms through the walls of your containment cell, it's not enough to touch them. Guys, help me, help me with this bar. Uh, Test the bars. Test the bars. Join my friends. All right. Uh, if you guys want to roll to test the bars. Morph to 2d6. No, your morphers are gone. Oh. Cold blood and all. I forgot. Yeah, me too. I, oh. I know you were tased. It was uh, hard I'm to remember. Extra points. <laughs> <laughs> I got all three. All right. Three. It's like, what is the d6 of a cell? Probably like half What did you get? One. Four. Four, four. Three. That cell is mighty strong. Ugh. And those bars feel completely solid. They don't even give under your pressure. I'm sorry, Jack. I, I, I got frustrated. All right? I, I don't know what's... Oh, my God. This can't be happening. Yeah, no. no you know what? We, we need to slow down for a second. Chloe. What? <laughs> Everything is so intense right now. Sounds like someone's being murdered. There's music. You hear that? Hello? <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you. Hello? You. Hey, hey, shut up, you. We're trying to have a conversation. Whoa, wait, he, he might be able to help. Hey. I don't know him. Who is this? He's a human Hi. being. Hi, I'm Jam. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Did you guys get captured too? Yes, yes, we did. Wow. Jam. I, me and my sister took out 20 grinders before we got captured. How much did you, how many did you guys take out? I, I, like I, 60. Wow! It was six. Yeah, yeah, sure, 60. Yeah, that's how much we took out. Oh my god, I took out a single one. Dude. I think it was nine, actually. Nine? No. Oh, whoa! Well, look, 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 sorry. Our, our friend here, this guy that's lying on the floor, how long has he been here? Uh, he, he just kind of got here. I, he, he didn't, was mu wasn't much for conversation, so. He's, he just got here. Like yeah. right before us? Kinda. Kinda? It's kind of hard to tell with time. Wait, how long so. have you been here? Maybe, maybe a few months, it's hard to tell. You know, you're just, just working, having fun, building grinders. Uh, as you guys get friendly with Jem, uh, Vesper appears. She's on patrol. Oh she God. has to patrol not only the factory floor, but also your open room where your containment cells reside and the other rooms where the other containment cells also reside. So she is able to listen in on your conversation, however, she is making her rounds. Hi, funny robot lady. Robot lady? That's... Uh, I de morph. Mm-hmm. My friends, I wanted to see you face to face. I take out my hyperblade blaster oh and I God. aim it at Marv and I shoot it. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> what? I'm gonna try to dodge it. <laughs> Two energy, 10 what? what is going on? <laughs> Vesper, please, please don't do this. Don't make me take you out. Man, this holiday episode better be awesome because this is whack. <sighs> okay, can I try to dodge it? Yeah, you can roll to the fan. <laughs> oh, God. That's a three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, would you like to roll for your aim? Sure. Bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. <laughs> no! Okay, I take it. I take it. Go ahead. I'm shoot, finding shoot some popcorn around and just having so much fun and watching it. So, I haven't seen this much excitement in a long time. Uh, that's for why? I take out my Cerberus axe and I point it at Jem. Oh, wait, wait, actually. Uh, uh, Vesper, you know what? You've never been useful to the group. Why don't you take me out? Go ahead, come no, on. No, no, I want it, I want it! What? Uh, I don't know who you are. Hey, guy, look. We Hey! We're trained professionals, all right? We, we can... Professional what? Yeah, come at me! Come on! 
Come on, take me out. Yeah, take him out. Yeah, take me out. No, take me out. Take, take him take out. out. That's for taking take him out. out. Actually, okay. yeah, fine, take him out. I put my axe away. No, 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 your axe. You need to use your axe. That's the only thing that can take us out. You need to swing it as hard as you can at these cages and make sure we're knocked out in the process. And then you need to get us some food. No, do it vertically so you pass the bars and hit one of us. Oh, hey, guy, whose side are you on? You guys will probably end up destroying yourselves in here. And I just walk away. Vesper, what has happened? I Vesper! Shoot, I shoot my blaster right above Jack's head. Just a warning shot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was, uh, I think she's upset. Uh, what the hell? Oh. Wait, wait, you, okay, so you Sorry, said- I was in solitary confinement for so long. I yeah, yeah, to... yeah, no, listen, that's our friend, and that's our friend. Oh. You need to tell us what is going on here. Who are you, Jim? And, and why did you call her a robot lady? Yeah. Oh, you didn't know? What? You know what? She's our best friend, pretty She's much. She's a robot. Eddie! Oh God, you're alive! What? what? She's a what? You can't tell? Why just... Eddie, you don't look too good. Hell hath no fury like a woman who you find out is a robot and tries <laughs> to kill you. <laughs> you didn't know she was a robot? How did you know she was a robot? You could just tell, looking at her. Sorry, I, yeah, I'm, I'm surrounded by technology all the time. Am I a robot? No, I don't. Wait, wait. So. Okay, we're, we're straight from the point. Vesper is a robot. Eddie, what the hell? Yes. What was going on? How did you get here? Vesper, she's a robot and she got infected with the Vengex virus from this large monster creature. That makes sense. Attacked me, brought me down here. Don't think a date is happening. I don't know. I feel like if Vesper was a robot, she would have told me, and we're kind of close, so. It's right. pretty, pretty much confirmed. Pretty obvious. Eddie, do you have your morpher? Your, your weapons? You guys come? No. Morphers? Uh, <laughs> no. Did you I say morphers? I meant, um. You guys ranger operators? What? What? How do you know that How do you term? Know? Oh, uh, me and my BFF, she created the ranger operator series. You've worked with M? And? She's she's one of our friends from the outside. She she leads this rebel alliance against the Vengex virus. And they're trying she's got to get a letter for a name. Uh, she's from Alphabet Soup. I, I mean, <laughs> she could be, but how do you know about the Ranger Operator series? You you created it? No, no, my BFF, Doctor K. She created Vengex. She created the Ranger Operator series. She created Vengex and mm -hmm. that must be how how Vespa got. There's no way Vesper's a robot. There's no way. I don't think so. She's so a robot. Are you kidding me? How she acted just now? What? I mean. Look, I think what well, he just said, the Vengex virus is in relations with the Ranger Operator series. Maybe, maybe the, the Vengex virus just somehow got into her morpher and messed with her brain. She's I, a robot. Maybe Marf. one has taken over the other Marf. Most likely, Vengex went inside and infected your robot lady friend and turned her how she is. Wait a minute. You, it's true. You know you know how all these work. Yeah, because Vengex like takes over the world. So do you, do you <laughs> How long have you been here, man? Um he's a little crazy. Real quick, um, how much damage did you do to Marv? Oh, Ten. Yeah. Ten. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, don't kill me, please. I wanna play. Forty-four energy. Oh. Why does Vesper have so many energy? I know, Vesper, please. And I will, I will give you Two points of energy for taking one, you know, oh, yeah. using yourself as a meat shield. Thank you. Listen, this is very interesting, but my friends, we have got to get Eddie out of here. We have to find a way out of these things. That's what I was gonna say. He knows how all of this works. Hey, hey, you. Uh, what, your friend. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Jem. Jem. Right, right. Jem. Um, you know how the Vengex Vend virus works, mm -hmm. right? How do we stop it? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Dang it. Do you? Do you know how to, oh, you said you've been working with, with all these grinders. Mm -hmm. How? Have, do they let you outside of this cage? Oh yeah, so they, uh, they kind of kept, they captured us and then they, we're basically gonna work for them now. Build more grinders. And yeah. when, when do we get to go out of this cage and build more grinders? Oh, should, should be coming up soon. When is lunch? Mm. When is lunch? We're talking about slavery. I'm just, just saying, if we're out of the cage, do you see that gives us an opportunity that, to do something. Do you see that plate with a bit of dirt on it? That's yeah. lunch. 
Oh. <laughs> it's really good. Sometimes you find worms in it. Worms? I can yeah. do with worms. But... I mean, I'll eat anything, so... But, I'll... I mean, the shift should be starting soon. I'm looking forward to it, building grinders. Wait, how many, how many grinders come out to pull us out? Uh, quite a few. Quite a few, huh? Mm. Yeah. Hey. I'm not that strong, though. Yeah, we took a lot out last time around. And nice. there weren't even more. Nine, right? Hey, Nine, hey, uh, Jen. 60, right? Do you want to be a, an honorary ranger operator? I've already been there, done that. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but not like how we do it. 60, no. It can take 20. Wait, wait, you're, you're telling me you're a ranger operator? Mm hmm. <laughs> We're saved. You, you can morph and you can get us out of here. Oh, the morphers are in the research lab. Oh, right, yes. Ooh. Of course, the morphers are in the research lab. Why are you saying it like that? What? Well, he's what? touching his head. I don't understand. I don't <coughs> speak Jack. Oh, hey, hey, Vesper. <laughs> Hey. Keep it down in there! Yeah, you got it! Uh, as you guys are awaiting your fate, when the work shift starts, Jem remembers that he had a plan to get out of here all along. So you guys he wanted, just needed something. You guys wanted to get out, right? Uh, that would yes. be ideal, yes. Oh, okay. That would be oh, great. Okay. Yes. We could escape any time. What?! Yeah. What do you mean? You've been in here for four months and for four months and you can escape at any time? Yeah. How do we get out? How do we get out? So I've been just kind of building grinders because it just makes more to destroy later. So I got separated from my sister Gemma. And so ever since then, uh, I've been creating this, I've been, every time I go out and work, I swipe her no swiping like parts and materials and stuff. And so I'm creating this device that kind of disables the security and opens the locks of the research facility. I'm gonna grab my morpher, I'm gonna save Gemma, go out and start, you know, like, Destroying all the grinders we built. Why would you destroy more grinders when you could just not make grinders and just get out of here safely? Because it's more to destroy. What is wrong with you? Anyway, so I just need, I've just finished the, uh, the, the device. I just need a distraction. Okay, yeah, yeah, what, what, what can we do? What can we do to help? Uh, so it's gonna disable the security. It's gonna disable the locks. I just, it's not gonna disable the alarms and it's not gonna disable the grinders that's gonna come. So we need some big, Distraction to make all the grinders go to that distraction. So I, I, I could do that. I'm great at rushing into things and distracting people. Okay, that's, so that's there's going to be a lot of grinders. Well, I wonder. Oh, maybe um, we can create something like, maybe like a bomb. No, no, like, no. But that's that's a wait. Bad idea. No, shut up. It's it's boom time. What do you think? We can just like, guys, I have an idea. Wait, we'll use the dirt and then we'll rub it on stuff. We'll create friction. Uh, actually, I don't I've know got anything. Enough, I swapped enough parts, but did you say it's Boom. I did. Sometimes words come out of my mouth I don't know. Can I keep that saying, put in my back pocket and use it for later? Yeah, you, you do whatever want you want. That that's, a... that's funny. Oh, okay. okay. Anyway, yeah. so I swiped enough parts, uh, enough putty. I can just, yes. I'm gonna create three, there's three generators. Okay. I'm gonna create three explosives, okay? And we're gonna, that's gonna be our distraction. We're gonna do boom time on these three generators. <laughs> boom that's, time. That's gonna be enough distraction that we I could use this device, unlock the uh, security, the, the research lab, and get my morpher. And no, no, wait, 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 wait. There's a critical point that you may have missed uh, uh, over, over. Uh, um, yeah. The, the, this, this thing. How do we get out? Oh, they're gonna come get us to make us work. Oh, Vesper rounds the corner so. again, and now it is. Okay, I need to make this. Turn to. Do take... I need to roll for to make this the three explosives? Do you want to roll? <laughs> just take it, just take it, dude. Don't I ask can, questions. I'm not, gonna make, <laughs> I'm not gonna make you okay. roll to make them, but I will make you roll to set them off. Okay, so can I just say, I've just created these three explosives. Uh, I could have made the detonator a switch, but now I've just created it by voice command. And the, fr the first bomb is set off by Chloe saying, it's boon time. <laughs> when? when we're ready to set it off, but that's the detonator. Oh, I almost just said it. You have to really- okay. No, 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 it's gonna be over, you have to say it over 80 <coughs> decibels, so you have to shout it. That's how I talk normally. Okay, 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 90 decibels. <laughs> 90 decibels, okay? That's the only way. The second bomb is by set up by me, saying it's boom time. Same 90 decibels. 
And then the last one is set off by me saying, it's boom, and then you say time. Got it. My sister, I always finish sentences, and she's not here. I'm getting withdrawals. Okay. That's okay. Um, like I was saying, Vesper rounds the corner. You may have heard a, a something about a boom or a bang. It doesn't matter. You are not intimidated by all these other rangers. You are powerful. They are demorphed. They do not have their morphers. And it's time for them to work, including Eddie. <gasps> no. Oh, by the way, in the research lab, there should be some medical supplies. Wait, wait, really quick. Quiet, gold one. All right, slaves. Cool get thing. ready. Ew. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. He's so positive. Vesper, you'll, you'll be able to um, lower the bars to allow them to walk out. All right, if you guys so much make as make a peep, I you will see yeah. my Cerberus axe mm -hmm. close up. Cool. Beep. Don't, don't ask her, trust me, she's... I'm a little bit over this situation. Over I uh, slam open the... I hit the button and I raise the bars. Okay, all, all three containment cells? Yep. All right, all three containment <laughs> cells. The bars <laughs> lower. I look Vesper's over Vesper's there. She's got her axe ready. I've got the bombs under my... And uh, you're expecting them to follow you into the factory, which is just down the hall. Come on. Hurry up. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We have to go help Eddie. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over and uh, run over to, to Eddie. But I'm gonna make like a big running circle just so it distracts him. Oh, oh, sorry. He's, he's he can help here. himself. Uh, yeah, Hurry. No, of course he can. But you know how I am with everything. I just, I just want to make sure. I got this. Okay, cool, cool. Gil, Eddie, you got this. I got this. Eddie, do you have any, idea, any plans, anything to maybe disarm Vesper? Eddie, I have a bomb. Eddie, hurry up. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you got it. <clears throat> got on your it. feet. You're the boss, you're the boss. I'm on my feet. You're on my boss. Vesper. What? You know this is not you. You know that you're being controlled by a virus. You know that we're your friends. I'm sorry, did you want to feel the end of my uh, hyperblade blaster? Because that's what's gonna happen if you don't uh, run right now. Eddie. It's not worth it, to man. build the grinders. Do you want me to slap her? You have 10 seconds. Eddie, say the word. I care about you, Vesper. 10. I'm nine, not going to leave your nine, side. Vesper, don't eight, do this, well. please. Seven, six, five, four. Seven. You mean a lot to us, Vesper. Six. We're your friends. Five. Slapper. Look at us. Four. We care about three, you. Three. I tackle her! I. Okay. I super. Uh, dang it, please tell me we have a super. You do. We have one. Sweet. I'm going to super tackle her and try to pin her. With my uh, lunging strike. So that's a uh, seven. Seven. Go ahead. Two. Do I do so it? So you do pin her down, but <gasps> your uh, limbs are very that's close to that uh, blade. And suddenly you hear a commotion. Uh, other grinders are, have noticed. And they're in the factory. They're making their way Boom, towards you. Guys, wait, 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 to immobilize my friend so that we can deal with the onslaught of grinders. Uh, as you attempt to do that, you realize anything that is technologically based is gone no. from you. No! My town is I don't got nothing! When you're oh, being no. tased. My town is dinky. I grab his time force bad. Real. No, he doesn't, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Okay. He, right. That's I, what he wanted to do. All right. I, pl I play with my hair <laughs> and like clear it from my eyes. And, okay. and maybe you feel the void in your pocket. This is the most action Jim has seen in the agency. He has to put down the bombs and get in on it. So, just uh, but beyond the corner, you know there is the factory. <sighs> <laughs> on the far left side of the wall, there are the three generators you were talking okay. about. And on the far right side of the wall, there is that research facility. You know it's kind of okay. makeshift, but right. you've seen a lot of grinders with lab coats and no armor on. Go inside there. Okay. It's Operation Boom Time. Okay. You, you didn't tell me what you needed so to I do. So I yell it? I'm going to yell it right now. I shoot my blade in the air. Quiet! Uh, uh. 
You're right. I'm sorry for tackling you, Vesper. I, I just, <laughs> I, um... Let's go to work, which is past the generators. You're right, let's go to work. Yeah! Follow I'm that ready. gold guy. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right. <clears throat> okay, uh, Vesper, you should seem pleased at compliance. Mm. I'm over Good this. work. Thank I'll drop you. a pea in your bowl. I want a carrot. <laughs> Ahead of you, there are <laughs> other refugees, now prisoners who have been sent to work in the factory. The factory consists of, like I said, on the far wall, conveyor belts leading from a forge. In front of it, several long benches where people are sorting through all sorts of weird bits and pieces, cogs, springs, circuitry, maybe microcontrollers, wires, that kind of thing. On the far left side, as you enter, there are three generators. On the far right side, there seems to be a hall that leads to another room. And the, the hostages that are now prisoners, they are in a line in front of you and they split off left, right, left, right. Who goes left, who goes right? On Generators the left left. side, um, is I, I the go, generators on yeah. the right side? There is the research room, uh, but only Jem, only Jem will know that that's the research room. For the rest of these the right, rangers, or, yeah, to the right. Okay. Jem will only know the research room is to the right. For the rest of these rangers, uh, Jack, Chloe, Marv, and Eddie, the only time you would have seen it was by glancing as your containment cell was being lowered down into the factory. Does facility. Jim know what's on the left? The three gener sure. uh, generators. I'm not listening. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You said there were there was three generators. Yeah, no, no. I mean, like, which way it was. Yeah. Let's go to the left. Those three yeah, generators. Yeah. Left, you got it. Left. <laughs> all right, so all of you kind of veer off towards the left, and the prisoners who are in front of you they start filing, you know, one by one to the long benches and they can kind of understand round things go in here, pointy things go in there, square things go in there. So uh, you can kind of understand what other people uh, want and along each table there is a grinder and they, they're wearing their, you know, silver outfit with their copper armor and instead of a face, what should be eyes is a cog and a nut and a bolt, like for a mouth. So they're ready to tase you if you don't sit here and play this little uh, number game with the squares, the round things, and the sharp pointy things. Uh, could I uh, slip some of the sharp pointy things into my jacket? That's what I Go do. ahead. Yeah, but this Roll is a yeah. d6. All right. Three. Three. You successfully slip two sharp pointy things. Got you well. Not too impressed. Though. In, it should have been six. Under your clothes. <laughs> I take one and I just hold it in my uh, thing. I have one. What do you need? When do you need me to go? Just let me know. So how I'm many grinders are there? There's one at each table, and I would say there are six tables okay. on this side, and then six tables with long benches on the other side. And we need to just get rid of them before we can bear off to the left, right? Is that what you were saying before? So I'm not drawing a map like Paul is. So I Marv was just Marv was just <laughs> able to I have a picture here too. Oh. Uh, Marv was just able to swipe two sharp long pointy metal objects. Turns out they're knitting needles. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> underneath your jacket and you were able to swipe other pieces during swiping. your round. Mm -hmm. So Perhaps there may be a moment when you look at the grinders when they're not looking in your direction. And the generators are right there that we can just place them? Yes, but a... there are some grinders at oh, the end okay. of each table. Just distract the grinders so me and Boom Girl can. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I'm going to stride oh, forward and pick up some tools and start performing badly. I want to oh. use my 46 um, energy before I move. All of it? <laughs> Somehow, I've been gifted. I need to do something with it. No, I, I, it doesn't matter. Let me think about that. Let's go back to Jack. You had a plan there. Sure, yeah, the plan is to like, you know, act really bad. I oh, that's time, gonna be uh, really tough. I'm gonna sit next to him and I'm gonna look at his stuff. I don't know. Hey, that's not where the pieces go. 
Grinder, he's doing it wrong. Yeah, you yeah. don't even know me, boy. What are you Dark. doing? This isn't the right piece. I get up and I smash his pieces table down. Flip. So you basically table flip. I table flip. <laughs> this All is right. wrong. He's purposely making something else. He's not making a grinder. So four of the six grinders on this side of the room actually crowd around you, Jack, and you, Marv and are very upset and they're gesturing towards everything that you spilled on the floor, Marv. Look, and look then at, at you, he spilled on the floor. And yeah, you. this was him. He did that with his knee. And there's two more grinders. They're kind of rooted in their position, but they're also paying attention, turned in your direction. I'm super excited by the table flip that I put the bombs down and use 10 energy to table flip at the, <laughs> at the, at the grinders to take them out. Does the stuff spill on the ground from the table? I see two tables. I flip one at one grinder and one at the other. <laughs> All right. Um, you should roll. Five energy each. Is what? that OK? Just roll 1d6. You need to find <laughs> Take it easy. Lightning bolt. Oh, it is a lightning yeah. bolt. Oh. He gets six, ladies and gentlemen, six. Guess who also rolled two lightning bolts? Oh! I can't even know. Does my tin energy mean nothing? You know what? Since the chat room willed it, well, we'll, we'll give you this opportunity Thank only you, because room. you're a special guest. Thank you, chat Hear room. That? Thank Hear you for that. me being a special guest. All right. So, you are able to flip yes. one table. Okay. And then the other table. And. Can I just describe how I do it? Oh, absolutely. Run at the table. And I do it with one hand. I go, bah, <laughs> like that. And then uh, I see this other one, and I run at that, and I go, bah, like that. <laughs> bah. So. That's how I, I think, do it. That's I, how I table flip. I think you're standing out of frame there. Oh, OK. Uh, very OK, very I run, good. and I go, ah, and I uh, oh, my Split, Sprint at the other one. <laughs> Ah, table flip, double and, table flip. And as Jem uh, double table flips both tables, more metal objects fly Sweet. from both tables and actually hits one of the grinders and then the other table has like shrapnel now and it hits the other grinders. And now you've made even more of a bigger commotion than Marv and Jack have, and now they're turned towards you, and they're all surrounding you. While they do that, can I, when they walk past me, can I take two of the heads and just slam them together? Uh, real quick, I think Vesper was about Dance. to speak first, so, uh, so a lot of commotion just happened, and you have a job to do. There's I know. A lot of commotion, so I grab Eddie by his collar, and oh. I have my hyper blade in the blade form, and I'm pointing it at his neck. What did Eddie do? Uh, <coughs> gosh, dang it. Vesper, don't do this. This doesn't look like you're working. A am I wrong? I, I was just trying to you're put right. Jack in the right place. I don't know why this guy decided to do what I'm doing. And, th and that just looked so cool, so I just had to copy him and, and one-up him. Look, I just want to make sure that Jack's making good grinders. I just can't trust him anymore with all this that's going on. And I, I saw that he was me mentioning to make something that looked like a bomb, something that you used to fiddle with, so I, I just thought that maybe I should let you know. You know, I'm, I'm on your side here. I Vesper. know two things. We Actually, a... let's roll for that. Let's see if she can uh, see if you're deceiving her. Yeah, it's a one, so I'm, I'm sure she will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your side, Vesper. <laughs> yeah. uh, Vesper, you do not believe him at all. Come He's on, you're like buddy old pal. Team. Listen, I know two things for sure. One, we have a quota to feel, fill. Two. Your friend Eddie looks like he might keel over at any minute. And I'm so just... either we're gonna hit this quota and you're gonna stop messing around, or uh, Eddie's gonna get really intimate with my Cerberus axe. Right yeah. now, because Marv, Eddie, and Vesper are in a conversation, Bunker. and Jem is surrounded by uh, oh, yeah. grinders, surrounded. right? Because you just <laughs> you flip two me. tables. Can I go pick Chloe up Chloe and bombs? Jack, what are you doing while this conversation is happening? I, while all this was happening, I saw that he had dropped the bombs, and I picked them up because that's what I do, and now I have all the bombs. Okay. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. I feel crazy. There's a lot of crazy stuff happening. I could just yell, it's boom time. Even though that sounds like a lot of fun, you blowing up maybe no. 
You guys oh. can't talk to each other. It's a little metagaming. Oh, oh, sorry. As character, if, yeah, Chloe could notice that Jem dropped some bombs. Well, what well, would she it. do? She would take the bombs. She would take the bombs and do a little dance, stick them in her pockets, <laughs> I mean, I throw them take, in the like, air. I would just kind of take a couple steps back into the shadows as all this chaos is happening. Okay, it's just kind of like, yep. I'm just scooting back. <laughs> Look, Vesper, I'm on your team. I, I've always have been, and now that now that you're on the side of the winning side, I want to join you. I, let me be a part of Vengex. Oh, let me too. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, right? me too. It sounds really right. fun. Damn it, guys, you can ruin me it. too. I'm with you. Look, Vesper, I just I... roll a d6. Roll a d6. But I think you can't really hear too much of the conversation as there are a circle of grinders oh, around okay. you. you. Do you still want me to roll? Yeah. Lightning bolt. One. <laughs> <laughs> Vesper hears off in the distance, Jem say. Sorry, say again. <laughs> you said me too. Oh yeah, me too. He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy, all right? Jack, I'm what did you roll? You know me. Four, boss, four. Four. What, roll. Okay, three. Uh, maybe you believe Jack. Not me? Even with my winking and my... He's crazy. We don't know who that guy is. All right? So... We're, we've been on your team. Jack. Jack! You're a distinguished officer. Keep these children in line. And maybe we'll see about um, promoting you in the future. Is there anything we can do about medical care for Eddie? He's fading. Well, there's something you can do definitely that won't um, make his condition worse. And that's listen to me, okay? All right, Time Force Cadets and whatever your name is, Jim. We're marching off because we've got a quota. Up to it! Yes, sir. Everybody gets back to work. Chloe, I want to put two of my bombs back. No, you dropped them. They're mine now. Hey, Jim, keep Jim. it down over there, Jimbo. Round pieces of metal in this container. Square off. pieces of metal in this container. Long, sharp, pointy con pieces in this container. Let's make the best grinder we can. Yes, Folks. let's do it. Hey, Jack, I slipped in one of those sharp things. Next time one of the grinders come, you know what to do. Sure. We need to make a commotion, all right? <clears throat> hey, Jim. You look down at it, it's a knitting needle. It's kind of big, but it is a knitting needle. That'll do the needle. job. Thanks, Marvelous. I walk up to Chloe, Thank you. and I give her a carrot. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Can we get this thing going? Don't talk to me. Look, I made a distraction for yeah. you last time and you didn't take advantage of I it. Know, but the table flip was so cool. Okay, what can, what can I do to make a distraction that you will not do? Something rascal that I won't want to copy you. Okay, I um I get up. Hey, Vesper, I'm feeling kind of oh. Oh, oh, I just start running towards her, and uh, I'm gonna try to like gag myself with my tongue on the way over there and try to throw up on her. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't copy that. Okay, wait a minute. Where is Chloe and the bomb? Where are you? Where it's is Chloe? Uh, you said do you, I see her? You slipped off. Do you want to slip oh. off into the shadows, or do you want to be working? What was? What's the intention there? I want to be in the shadows. I want to get this done. I want to go find the generators and put these bombs there. I don't really trust this gym guy. I okay. Mean, he's okay, but like I have all his bombs now, and Vesper's really pissing me off. <laughs> uh, go ahead, roll 1d6 for me. Oh. I'm doing business today, guys. I got a one. Can I throw up on Vesper? Uh, <laughs> this, this, you're going to have to wait this Use some energy. <laughs> but you could try again in a little bit. Oh, me or... Chloe. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, I don't feel good. I think I think it's the, the dirt worm. I. I. <laughs> <You're> I <fine. laughs> oh no! I throw up on her. <laughs> oh god! Why are you doing oh. this to me, guys? <laughs> oh, there's there's vengeance all over the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh! Roll for throwing up. Uh, Roll for your distraction. I kind of want to. I'm gonna. You I'm now. gonna super throw You're up. Gonna Throw I'm gonna yes, super that's throw. A, that's a one d six. That's a six. <laughs> oh. So that's now an eight, right? No, that was oh, a four plus two. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Ah, you got a six. Yeah. So, uh, somehow you feel a disgusting <laughs> feeling starting from the bottom yes. of your gut. 
Whoa. Maybe it's something in that orange haze that you breathed in earlier. Oh. And Pollution. all of a sudden, everything in your body, it feels, is coming out of your mouth. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, guards, help me clean her up. She's the queen. She's the machine queen. Oh, I'm a mess. And That's a I'm super a mess. right there. Everybody is looking at you, and go, some go. some of the uh, prisoners are trying to laugh, like, like kind of. What oh the, my God, that's why I'm so what's sorry. What's wrong with him? Oh, grinders, get away somebody. from me. Yeah. Help, grinders, uh, you two, come. Serve your queen. I'm so sorry. Come on. Chloe. Do I Chloe. To get any people around? Let's go. Uh, I would say that's the end of your turn. You definitely caught everybody's attention, but I'll give Chloe another turn. Got it. Okay, so I want the grinders to come help clean me up. Sure. Grinders! <laughs> help! Your queen beckons! Shut up! Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the, four, the four grinders that were left, because two were taken out by the uppercut table flipping, uh, they surround, <laughs> all four surround you, and they look like very nervous at you because they have never quite seen anything <laughs> like projectile vomit, and they just kind of use their hands and do this to you <laughs> and try to clean you. Those four grinders are around Vesper right now, and it's a little hard for Vesper to see anything past oh. their hands doing this. <laughs> all this throw up's making me want to throw up again. Get it in her mouth in my blower circuits. <laughs> Chloe. What? Generators. <laughs> Just hurry up. I can't do this again. This way. I'm going to... I'm gonna go now. Okay. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah. It smells really bad. I think it might <laughs> it smell really bad. It, it, it sure does smell very bad. <laughs> right. This way to the generator. Okay, I have all of the. Give me two back. I'll give you one back. Okay. And two. <laughs> okay, so can do we you... find the generators now? Yeah, no. Absolutely. You can see the generators. Oh, okay. Like clear okay. as day. Oh, do, do we do we know? Are they, they're connected? Have we seen this happen? I think everybody oh, has seen. Blow up. <laughs> everybody can see Marv has thrown up. Everybody can see Vesper is surrounded by four grinders. Yeah. Not everybody will have noticed that Chloe is talking to okay. Jem. Okay. But Jem would be looking at Chloe because he is aware that Chloe has dropped. Are there any threats immediately bomb. that might be attacked? Any threats? Uh, any grinders that I might be able to bulldoze with my massive on yellow the, awesomeness? This is on the far right side now. of the room, so you're on the left side of the room right now when you first entered. On the other far side of the room, opposite of the generators, there are another six grinders, yes. and they are patrolling uh, the other side of the long mm. workbenches that all the other factory prisoners are working, also doing very tedious sorting. Okay, we're gonna leave those guys alone for a minute because we have an operation in progress. Mm -hmm. Oh, you nutheads, you're just mixing it oh, all up. Let's get these cloth. down so you're I can take up the six grinders. Okay, hey, let's go, let's go. We need some towels or something Is there here. anything stopping us from just putting the, attaching the bombs on the generators now? No, this is the perfect opportunity. <laughs> okay, I put my bomb, the first bomb, on the first uh -huh. generator. Yeah, okay, I put right. mine on the second one. We should do this one together. Okay, and the third one together, because we have to yeah. detonate this together. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, roll for each detonation. Okay, so, okay, so remember, the first one, you have to scream, it's boom time. The second one, I say it's boom time. Third one, it's boom time. Got it, got it. Over 90 decibels. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, I'm going to super roll. All right, go ahead. Uh, ooh, a seven. You got it. So, as you, it's boom time! There is a, a, a radio enough. timer. <laughs> There's a radio LED timer on the front of that thing, and it goes beep, 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 beep. And you get the sense once it comes full circle, it's gonna boom. Ah! Oh, gotta run. So you run out of the, the way. I gotta go to the third generator, right? No, no, mm -hmm. you don't have to use vocal command. So oh, we okay, got it, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so do I roll? For yours, Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I should super this too then. Super yeah. roll! Good idea. Four. Three. Plus two? Six. Six? You rolled a four. Yeah, I rolled a four, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's six. Thank goodness for yeah. you. And <laughs> as soon as you yell out, It's boom time! You see on the front of that bombs display, doop, 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 
so you know in just a few <laughs> seconds it's about to explode. Oh, I run too. Okay, and now I was we're both running. We have to set up the third one. It's boom times two. Does it mean we both have to roll? Yeah, why don't you both okay. roll? <laughs> okay. Oh, no. oh we got two supers let's left. Let's do a super. And I'll let you add them together. Okay, cool. Is this like a teamwork thing? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, cool. I roll. I rolled a three. Okay. I'm gonna super. This? Okay. Oh. Ooh, super. Ooh. I got a five. I mean a four. I can't count. And you're gonna super this? Sure. No, 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 no. Excuse me, Chloe. You said you're gonna okay. super this. So that it is a four. Okay. So it's four plus two is six, right? Or you roll the two and you're adding that one. Got it. I mean, Thanks. whatever you want. The one though. that works. Yeah. It's it's up to you. The yeah. total is four, <laughs> and Thanks. yours was. Uh, lightning bolt. Oh, awesome. No, it was. Yes, it was. He's lying. <laughs> no, he's, he's lying. lying. <laughs> he's lying. He's lying. All no, right. I said it was a three. Hey, I don't want to be a, like a As you both no, say, no, no, no. You did the it's... What? What? As you both say... It's boom! Yeah! Uh, you also see the LED display on the front of that go, now, this way. And can I just add something too? When I was creating the bombs, when the first one goes off, there's fireworks of hits. And the second one goes off, there's fireworks of boom. And the third <laughs> one goes off, fireworks of time. I feel so excited by all of this that I do like a cartwheel and then I go to give him a high five in the air. <laughs> and then I, I jump up and do a ballerina split and I go like this. <laughs> all right, you uh... Someone you, needs to draw that. <laughs> oh you my both God. get like three points of energy. Yeah! yeah. For your successful explosion. Um, you just set off a bomb <laughs> attached to a generator. I know. Holy cow. You're it upset. pushes you guys back quite a bit all the way past the tables is that so a we're in midair high-fiving as this happens so we kind of look really cool as we fly so you get an extra push up into the Ooh. air but the heat and the sound from the explosion is massive mm. and you feel like holy cow maybe it like singes your eyebrows it was very very sweet close. it's boom <laughs> Suddenly, the four grinders that are surrounding Vesper immediately scramble. They're trying to figure out what happened. Also, Vesper, you just saw three explosions to your left. And the six grinders that you are kind of heading towards the far right side, they're also just scrambling left and right like they want to run to the explosions, but then they're trying to run to secure the prisoners. Then they're just trying to run to help you, Vesper. And they're just kind of very confused and chaotic. Their arms are flailing. And then you will notice, because you have eyes on this room, gem, that research facility that's on the far right side of the room, all the way in the back, mm. the doors fling open. And what looks like grinders with no armor on. So they're just silver bodies and they look squishy and vulnerable. Ah. They're wearing lab coats and they're running out. They're running out of the research facility and they're scared out of their wits. They did not like that, their explosion. And then they run away uh, up like a fire escape oh. into another room. Did they already escape? Because I wanted to beat up some nerd grinders. I wanted to give them a high five while their hands were up. <laughs> I think you guys are too close to the left side oh. of the room near the generators you just set off and they were on the far right side of the room in the back. Lucky for them. So, um, did the- But you would be closer, Jack. Did the six grinders that were kind of on table patrol mm -hmm. take off with the suited scientist robots? No, they are in the, fa in the room of the factory floor now trying to assess the situation, trying to make sure that the prisoners don't escape, and trying to also calm down the fires that started from the explosion. I'm going to reach down and try to shoulder one of the work tables, hoisting it, hoisting it over my head and running down one of the aisles towards at least two, maybe three, if I can get an angle on them, of those grinders to see if I can perhaps get a little bull rush going with a little area hand prop. Go ahead. That's a three. As you hoist up, the table over your shoulder, it's its very hollow kind of wood. It's very flimsy. So it's very easy for you to lift up above you. And as you rush towards the grinders, uh, they are confused. A giant table is charging towards them. 
one is able to dodge, another one is able to dodge, and then one you smack right in the back of the head. It falls forward and it falls apart. You have defeated that one grinder. Thanks, Ikea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so many tables. Do I table see uh, table attacks. Attacks. Oh, no. Somebody can I see them? <laughs> I think now since you kind of run back towards the left side of the room yeah, with I'm your on, table. I'm on the side of that unidentified you, area. Uh, the unidentified area is in the right side. What? Right? Oh, that's true. And you ran towards oh. the left side. Oh, okay. Towards the explosion. Okay, boss. Pushing the other grinders. Say no more. That means he also ran past you, Vesper holding a table Whoa. and knocking out one of your grinders. We gotta make sure you're all clean, Vest, but we can't, we can't have you all, all dirty with all this, this vomit. This is Marv. disgusting. This is- Marv, I'll handle it. Yeah. You go see what the others are doing. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> and so, uh, while I'm walking away, just punch one of the grinders. And <laughs> <laughs> so who, who is in proximity to me? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Who can I see? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Marv sounds like you wanted to talk to her I'm and you've been talking to her this second, whole yes. time. <laughs> so you would be very close to Vesper. I would think, Eddie, <laughs> you're very weak and low energy. You can barely hold your what? head up as you sit on one of those work benches. Uh, I think you would be farther away from Vesper. Oh, okay. And, uh, but you could. Maybe you could hold yourself up and slowly walk your way to a corner unnoticed. Um, you guys just <laughs> catapulted into the air. His energy, that yeah, one, two, million, I need four, to use five. it. I need to use this. He's got 12 million. That's a lot. It's not a job. Well, so my next turn, I'm going to use oh, six million of it on something. Well, Jem, don't forget, mm. you think you know where the morphers are. Yeah! Save us. So. <laughs> Can I use a turn to use the six million before I save everyone? <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so, with the rangers in my proximity, I okay. kind of like, I'm very mad. There's I think Marv would be the one me. that's right close to you. Yeah, yeah, that's that's me. So, I turn to Marv and I say. I'm sorry about vomiting on you. I really. Ranger am. rule number one. A ranger never escalates a situation. Mm -hmm. It's morphin' time! Hyperforce! Black! Ready! Power up! You're Save right. us! You're right, Vesper. A ranger never escalates a situation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, de-escalate de my way out of here, and I'm just gonna... What? I grab his car. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Look, Vesper, you don't want to do this. Come Power on. ranger rule number two is... Uh, you should always punch another person on his right shoulder because that's the one that's never been hurt before. Well, I like the first part of that, so I just punch him. No. Oh, God. Uh, as a, oh. as a Vesper is taking these uh, jabs at Marv, it got a very good grip Why on his- Why is she so strong? <laughs> you know, almost like a mother kitten grabbing a kitten. Uh, as everybody is demorphed, Jem, you're very aware of where the morphers are, and somebody just morphed. Should we go, should we go Do something, them? man! I wouldn't use my 12 million! Use it to get our morphers okay. back! Okay, okay, I use, um... Use, your, use okay. it for your spells and shit. So we're pretty her. close to the room that's got right, the morphers Right, because you just catapulted it up into the air. You could maybe land okay, very okay. close to that room. Okay, Anytime. and I'm with you. So I, okay, I, I use one million. So, I use one million energy so that Chloe and I get catapulted <laughs> exactly into the room. But we do a we do a little no no actually we, can we land on spinny chairs? No, yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. no 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 before we get catapulted here we're actually going in the opposite direction. But there's like a weird like kind of like contraption that's like it looks like it's kind of like the lighting, but it's springy like a trampoline. So we bounce <gasps> off that. And then there's like a big kind of like, sh like kind of like uh, air duct, but it's this round. Is... And then we kind of go through Oh my god, that. my hamster! And, then, and we're both like riding together, we're holding hands and we're riding together like this. And we say, that's boom time the whole time. And then suddenly <laughs> there's, uh, there's smoke coming out of an air duct. And we go through it and we're like this. And so 
it turns into a hat. And we go, yeah. <laughs> and then we kind of roll, and there's a big kind of like sofa for some reason. I don't know, but like, I use another billion to make sure there's a sofa there. And we kind of spring on that. And then we kind of like go into oh the room, God. and there happens to be. I use another million to make sure there's like a table of burritos for some reason. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Grab one each and we're eating and suddenly there's the morphers right there. Oh, oh you oh. used it all up, uh, sorry man. I think I'm okay. down on one knee <laughs> at this point and I'm asking Jim to marry me. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, your friend Eddie is uh, almost dying. But we go into the room. Yeah. But we go into the room and there's the morphers right in front of us. There's gold, there's red, there's... All the other let me let me yeah. let me explain okay, how that okay, went sorry, down. Sorry. Uh, yep. As you kind <laughs> of uh, catapult uh, just at the right angle to go into the it's makeshift research lab. It looks kind of a mix of like a science lab with benches, but also maybe like jewelers benches, right? Uh, welding implements, clamps, bits and pieces, and also there are more containers boxes that are segmented and things are sorted however it doesn't look like the crap that people are sorting out on the factory floor it's not knitting needles and cogs and springs it looks like clean very advanced pieces of technology and when you look at the table there are clear translucent boxes one is colored gold yellow blue pink red gem and, and chloe and silver. That's what you see. Everybody else is still on the factory floor. Marv is talking to Vesper, and he can barely hold his head up. And Jack, uh, you just finished kind of hitting somebody in the back of the head with a table. I would say your turn would be next after this. Um, I want to get a closer look at these cubes that are notoriously primarily colored. That's inside the research facility that I can't Chloe. See that. Oh. No, you can't. Man. Not until you go in that room. Well, I, I've seen my compadres already head in that direction, so I will do some geography and take a walk. You will take a walk. So you saw them because they were very showy, high fiving in the air, <laughs> yes. flying over in a yeah. glorious arc <laughs> over your head. Yeah. We blinked too. We did the blink. Yeah, I mean, Cirque du Power Ray is awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think one of you almost got caught in those air ducts. It's not that big. <laughs> I used a million for but this. You, <laughs> do it smoothly. Uh, uh -oh. As you oh. fall, fall through, you are in this room. There are also other uh, tools and supplies in that room. There are lab coats and, and aprons hung on the wall. There are tanks, petri dishes all sorts of equipment in this room and even a, a white locker. My jacket is stuffed. I have a bunch of things I just collected. <laughs> like burritos. I got the burritos in my hand, but I also got a Petri dish. I got some other things. I have a lab coat on too. I just kind of, it was like, you know, shopping. School. As you, uh, as you try to grab one of the burritos, um, Oh. <laughs> No! <laughs> no! Don't you do this, woman! Don't no, you take this! Uh, do it to the your petri hand, dish! Your hand goes through it. It is something of a virtual uh, pop-up card. Oh! One-time use only, and it's gone. <laughs> How dare you? It spills. Oh! <laughs> is so you really you've made. Dead? So, Jack, you've made it into the room. You see they've made this fantastic landing. They did not get cut in the air ducts. But I'm crying. You see the same thing that I just described to I'm, you. I'm Color-coded boxes. I'm, I'm a little worried about those, but I'm kind of focused on her. And on Vesper. Yes. Vesper's on the factory floor. And she's holding me up. Totally punching Eddie in the, uh, excuse me. I mean, Marvin, I, the shoulder. Look, I, I, I went oh, in the area oh, to, with, with with the cubes, oh. but I'm I'm a little I'm worried about that. But I mean, what what are these things? Like, what do I see? As Boss, you look what are these through things? these translucent cubes, they look like your morphers. Everybody on your team. What? <laughs> and then there are two that don't look like your morphers. Some other technological device: a silver one and a gold one. Hmm. Uh, I. 
I am a fairly strong individual. Can I try putting my hand through the surface of the yellow cube? Absolutely. So as soon as you uh, touch it, it's, it's like solid, it's plastic, and you're able to lift up the yellow translucent box, mm. and your morpher is there. Oh, I see. But the burrito wasn't. Mm. Um, the burrito <laughs> was not connected to the morphing grid. <laughs> oh, well, legitimate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab them. Oh, I'm You're gonna grab, grab them all, them. all the morphers. I'm telling you, I'm gonna wear them like bracelets. <laughs> I am leaning closer to the ground because I am very <laughs> low on energy. Duly noted. Uh, uh, on your way out, you notice many supplies, also a white locker with a, a red cross on it. Oh man, well. I, who wouldn't check that? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, you know what? Although I've had like four turns right now, I'm gonna look at the cabinet. Sure. So I'll let, I'll let you uh, run out of that room with the morphers. Yay! Wait, look did, at you these. Just, did you take on some as well? I took them all. Okay. Well, you guys, you know, you were looking at burritos. I don't know but what you- But we're in the same room. We just don't know what to do He it. grabbed the morphers and he runs out the room. What yeah. are you guys? You're crazy, man! Come back here! Wait a minute, where's Eddie? Eddie, where are you? Eddie's outside on the factory floor, still sitting on that bench. Chloe who? Oh. <laughs> Gotta go. Vesper? <laughs> Let's check in with uh, kind of busy Marvin right Vesper. Uh, uh, please. Ranger roll number three. Ranger roll number three is you shall flick a ranger on his nose very gently. Wrong. Ah, what is it? Rangers must always work together, so I throw him at no! Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm very nimble on my feet. Can I reform myself so that I just kind of like cradle, cradle like land cage on him? Are you, are you trying I to hurt that? him? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, just, so oh, roll like, like to attack. Oh. Three. Uh, you morphed, right? Oh, morphed. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, this is you're welcome my friend. This is the craziest Six. episode ever. So you're gonna have to roll to uh, to kind of. No. So you get six. Uh, excuse oh, yeah, me. Roll for the damage. Yeah, right there. Uh, five damage. Five damage. Marv, you take five damage as she throws you towards Eddie. Luckily, you just land on uh, right in front of Eddie's feet. Uh, Eddie sinking lower and lower. Chloe, <laughs> Eddie, are you okay? Jem, no. and Jack okay. just leaving the alive. research room. <laughs> yes, I mean I'm, I'm heading for Eddie. I'm okay. chasing after Jack. I don't, Dude, I'm trying to do everything I can, Eddie. I really yeah. am. I noticed some technology that's familiar that could actually help. Absolutely. So Jack and Chloe run out of the research lab and you notice a very interesting piece of technology. It's a bundle of cables, mm. almost like an octopus. Ooh. There is a head that has one plug, but it's not like the plug that you plug into the wall. It's more like a needle or a syringe, something that you would plug into somebody's body. And then at the other <laughs> arms of the cable, there are six other, six other. It's a hentai six. <laughs> oh no! It's just an octopus uh, cable management system. Uh, six arms on one side, and then there's like work. a head to yeah. the other. Do I have to roll? I, I, get, to, <laughs> and I get to work on just kind of like uh, oh. taking that technology and just kind of making a few changes. So oh. you're making a few changes with the things you might have smuggled yep. away, yes. also some other mm -hmm. tools. There's yep. a welding bench. There are other things in that room that allow you to maybe create or modify technology. Mm -hmm. The two of you, Jack, Chloe, you're running out. Jack, you're headed towards Eddie. Eddie. Yeah, yeah. I'm pulling his morpher off of my like uh, 90s mall mm -hmm. like bracelet cascade. And Jack, I, I Jack, Jack, give me mine, I'm right behind you, Jack, Chloe, Jack, wait a minute, wait Jack. a minute. Eddie, Jack. Jack. Eddie, you're with us. Yeah. I put the morph on, slap it in reverse. Yeah. Wait, Jack, Jack, quick, quick, please. Jack, please. Jack, 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 why is he staring at Eddie? Jack, Jack, get Eddie, are you I okay? Put, I put the, I grab the morpher, I yeah. slowly, I slowly put it on, and I say, it's morphin time. And at the same time, I have the ammonia test that I brought. Ready, <laughs> power up. <laughs> <You. laughs> Ammonia. Ammonia. Well, you know, yeah, it's it a medical salts. cabinet. Right. Uh, so <laughs> it's 3,000. Smells bad with the intention of 
creating a smelly distraction. It's more, <laughs> no, it's more of a like get it, like. You know, oh, you mean like no. smelling spirits? Yeah. Got it. It's got like, it. Oh. got it. Got it. Got it. Super well, the ammonia <laughs> stinks. Everybody in the near vicinity smells it, and you are able to morph Eddie, uh, and yes. you feel like maybe if you just ask your morpher or tap into something, you could heal yourself. Say that, um, I'm going to tap into something I remember seeing earlier that could be very useful right now, <laughs> a healing charge, mm -hmm. and I'm going to use it right now Absolutely. on my body. Great. <clears throat> so That I takes roll. six energy. You roll, um, let somebody, can somebody lend your di dice yeah. to, because uh, he gets to roll six. Five, got another one. Oh. Or I could roll for you, my friend. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> Heal me! Six lightning bolts, wow. Six, four, four, did I add them all up? Yeah, so that's 14. Six, 10, 14, 15, 20, 21. So you're healed for 21 points, yeah. and you have one more healing charge on your Morpher. It tells you that. Okay. All right. So now that I have some energy, I'm gonna get up. Uh, Jack is still giving all the Morphers. Well, no, I'm, he's holding on to oh, them. Yeah. On to <laughs> that would be he's nice, the right, my Eddie? Sisters. All right, Jack. Give give the rest of the team their Morphers. Yeah, Jack. You, you got it, Eddie. How are you feeling? I'm. I kick my morpher out of his hand and it spits <laughs> in the air, and then goes right onto my hand. <laughs> and I'm in the splits. So you now have your morpher. Yeah. Can you I now have your morpher. Too? You know how your morpher. Yeah. Uh, Please. Please you were just thrown, Marv, I'm and now you're right. at the feet yeah. of Eddie. In the cat position. So you, if you were able wow. to access Eddie. Marvis is just on the floor next sure. to Sure, awesome. Hey, uh, if I put it on like a little titty crown, like, yeah. a little, like a little Burger King. King. Yeah. yeah. Now remember, you also have these things that you don't recognize. The silver yeah. thing, you know, the gold other two. thing. I'm, I'm going to keep those momentarily because I don't know what to do with these. Mm -hmm. But hey, perhaps I say, hey, what do I do with these? And uh, now you see all this happening. Yeah. And it is time to do our popcorn initiative. Oh. Cool. So and Vesper, I'm gonna give you your turn first. Oh, Ooh. it's so sweet that everybody's back together. Since strangers uh, value being together more than anything else, I think it's only right that you should all die together. So yeah, and that means you because you're a ranger too. So <laughs> uh, I hear that from Chloe, mm. and I go. <laughs> <laughs> I do <laughs> as well. And I grab my uh, Cerberus disc, and um, I. Uh, I thought I heard, and I say, eat this. Since you like eating stuff, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so roll the attack and then roll for damage. Okay. If you hit. I got uh, eight. Eight. What do I do? I roll? To defend if you want to defend from your friend who is trying to hurt you right yeah. now. Yeah, can I super? Yeah, you, uh, yeah sure, why not? I let, I've let you have it before. I gotta do it or else she's gonna take it. Oh, six? Six, and you all eight. All right. Ooh. Ah, she hits you with your uh, Cerberus axe, and, and then like really. rolled for damage. <laughs> I think it was the disc, right? Yeah, the disc, yeah. Oh, disc. Oh, yeah, disc. Uh, the seven. You take seven points of damage, Chloe. I hold grudges and never forget, even <laughs> if you're a robot. <laughs> and for time's sake, I'm going to say, the neck, you just finish your Ooh. action. Yes. So it is now Jem's turn. I'm just gonna popcorn it automatically, a little GM magic here. And I'm gonna say that device that you've been preparing in that lab is now ready. Okay. What do you do? Ooh. I wanna get in some action instead of moving the story forward. No, I um, I say, <laughs> hey guys, I created this device that's gonna help fix your friend. What? Yes, yeah, You could have led with that instead of it's morphin' time! Wait, I did. Power force! Red! Red! Power up! You ran out of the room. You saw Sir! Him. Sir? What? Can I get my gold morpher? Gold? Sure, here you go. Here's the gold one. Oh, should I walk down? <laughs> Chloe, sure. you should probably <laughs> <have> one too. <laughs> I know, I just got RPM! Get gear! 
Yeah, I told you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we got to take our five minute break. Oh. Don't go away. A lot of interesting stuff is going to go down. Like what I do with my man, man, Bye. Bye. To it, Vesper has turned on the rest of the team. She's ready to attack them. She has not held anything back. She's completely evil, and anybody who has seen very closely into her eyes, she has a red glint. She doesn't have the same expression of the Vesper. You all know, love, and recognize. Jem, it's your turn. You have this special device in your hands. Guys, What's the I made plan? a bomb to blow her head off. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. You can't do that. She's a person. I mean, she's a robot, but she's a person that, to us. Do you think and you Vesper, you hear this. Guy just runs out of a room oh, saying you have a bomb uh, ready to blow your Is head off. Your name Put it down. I stand in front of him. No, Vesper, it's... This is not time. Do whatever you need to do, Eddie. Not you. No. Do not blow her up. Wait, you. wait. Do not blow her up. Okay, okay, no. Please. Yeah, don't, don't. Look, she's a part of our team. Oh. Okay, no really? matter what. Yeah, she's okay. just being really evil right gotcha. now. We've got to get I, through to her. I push Eddie, I push Marv out of the way. Marv, I appreciate it. Let me handle this. I look directly at Vesper and I unclip my helmet and put it, take it off. And and then I pull out Ranger Bud. Vesper, we're your friends. We care about you. I care about you. I like the way that you are with us all the time. I like the way that you go, hey, we're the Power Rangers, even though you're not supposed to say it. I like the way you eat candy corn. <laughs> I like the fact that when you sneak around, you like, put your jacket over your head and you walk around like this. You might be made by someone in a lab or a factory or whatever, but when you came with us, when you became a Power Ranger, we were all made to be friends. And you're my friend. And I'm not gonna let any stupid virus stop that. So, I really want to reach out to him, but I can't. There's like two competing forces where it's just overriding everything. All my positive emotions towards him, I can't reach out and do anything. And I feel it's like this really sharp pain in my head. And so I kind of just like retreat and I just want to be alone. So I just kind of fall to the floor and I'm just holding my head in my hands. And maybe the red glint in your eye flickers a little bit when you caught Eddie's attention. <gasps> Wait, okay, uh, this this bomb that you were gonna put in her head to blow her up, what, what, what does it do? What, what, can we reconfigure it? Can we can we maybe use it to, uh, to attack the Vandrix virus? So we can save I our friends. I guess. Friend. You, you can do that? Mm-hmm. Just give me one second. All right, yeah, that's about all you've got. Hurry it up, man. I'm done. <laughs> wow, he's crazy, but he's really smart. Okay, so you guys gotta, there is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> You get you gotta you gotta put this needle in the back of your head your head. You're gonna we're gonna upload our consciousness and a version of ourselves into her her mind. Wait a minute, wait. You wait. said put the needles in the You got the it! Back I take it. Oh wait, 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 oh. 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 Okay, now we're gonna put this I'm gonna put this into Vesper, but just 
Seriously, you gotta do it now. She's dead. Okay, just go so you know, quick. If you die in her mind, your brain gets smushed in real life. Okay? What? We're ready? Okay, there you go. All right, as soon as you all are plugged in by the cables, there is a very sharp pain that happens at the back of your head. A horrible, horrible, the worst pain that you've ever felt, and you've certainly never had a headache like this before. And you feel like that pain overcomes you so much that you black out. What? And all of you are just blacked out unconscious and you feel like maybe maybe you're dreaming vesper you're far away distant you're not with the rest of the group the rest of you right here you think you're dreaming but as you notice you're laying on a floor and underneath your hands there's a cold clammy feeling like you're you're touching cold black granite where are we Hi, I'm Jem, I'll be your tour guide. So we're inside Vesper's programming right now. I think you would have also felt that pain as we transitioned. I won't or will? Yes, Jem, I think you yeah. would have mm -hmm. felt that transition. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. So we're, we, we have changed planes of reality. But I would know what's going on, right? You would know so what's going on, but it okay. also was not a pleasant experience to oh, come okay. here. Oh, okay, so I should it's be not more... <laughs> Uh, so we got a spike in the head, and now we're yeah, somewhere else. Like You're not hangover. quite the Disney tour guide of okay, Vesper's mind. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll be like, hi, I'm Jem. I'll be a tour guide. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whatever. And um, as you uh, open your eyes and you look around, inlaid into the floor, there is a channel that's flushed, and it's about uh, every foot there's a, a one inch wide channel. And then suddenly in the darkness, you feel a pulse of light, and it travels in the inlaid channels on the floor and it, it illuminates the space that you're in you're in a dark empty void and then suddenly those channels they go down down the floor in front of you and then up the sides of buildings you realize it's almost like you guys have settled down in between huge skyscrapers and another pulse of light happens and it sounds maybe the same rhythm as a human heartbeat and you feel this light gentle and consistent moving pulsing through the blackness of the space illuminating tall black skyscrapers that seem to contain more segmented boxes marvin they don't train for this in the academy jim i have no idea what's going on so i feel horrible like everything hurts mm -hmm. so we're we're not real right now. This isn't the real world. We're inside Vesper's programming, okay? So we have to find Vesper and help her realize that she can. She is the only one with our help that can fight the infection, okay? May have had a roaming power surge. We're good? All right. It seems as we have been uploaded into Vesper's mind, there was a surge of power, more light pulses through the space. I didn't script this, guys. Okay. Um, so we're And in... you would know that you guys have been like uploaded. Yeah, so our consciousness has been uploaded into Vesper's mind, okay? And so in here it's pretty dangerous because there's a virus infected, but Vesper is in here as well. And so we have to find Vesper and help her fight the infected virus. Which way do we go? Yeah, how do we find her, Jim? Wait, uh, I don't know. This isn't my mind. Wait, Eddie, if anything, you might have more of an idea of where he, she one, might be hiding. One more thing. Because this is her mind, she has ultimate power. But this isn't real life, so we have some power, okay? Okay. So think of it like a dream, okay? Eddie, as you look up at one of these tall, black monoliths, you realize if you look in between these skyscrapers, there, there are alleyways, and if you look on the sides of the alleyways, it looks like these black skyscrapers are actually segmented, almost like bookshelves, and they are almost thick, like three inch wide black tomes, and the shelves are moving and shifting up and down, left and right, within the alleyways of these black skyscrapers, as you know, you kind of Pick yourself up from the ground. 
horrible headache. <laughs> Moving around, that's Vesper always thinking. You know, she's always been good with handling tech. Maybe is there some kind of part of her, her programming that's like her brain or something like that? Yeah, there's probably like a central node that if we head there, I think we can, she might be trapped there and that's what, where we'll find Venjix. Well, so that's all where we I need to go. do is just look at where the, the blocks are going, right? Wherever the direction is, I'm pretty sure that's where you the You should do some is. channels and... Yes, yeah, so there are inlaid channels all along the floor that go up on the sides of the building, but the, the light pulses in one direction. Follow the yellow Forward. brick road. <laughs> Follow the yellow Forward. brick road. <laughs> well, then that's, that's where I'm heading. You'll also, uh, as you three. kind of get up and follow the pulsing light, there are more and more of these shelves, and some of these blocks are, you know, you could probably pick them up with your hand, and they're right at face level. So I, I grab one of them. Mm -hmm. Do I see anything in it? So as you reach out, it indeed looks something like a high-tech book. It's hard and it's cool to the touch, but it's il illuminated from the sides and the light is kind of shining from the seams. Um, What's in it? It just seems it's some kind of energy or information maybe. And as you're kind of poking around like that, around it, it actually flips open and then there's a hologram. Mm. And you realize it's a first person hologram. It's one of Vesper's memories and it's from her childhood and it's a good memory. Oh, it's Vesper as a child. What? It's interesting. Vesper, Robots do you want to describe this memory? So, in this memory, I'm all alone. I'm about seven years old. I'm working on this little mechanical dog. Mm -hmm. And these kids come up to me. There are about four of them. They're, both, they're all my age. And they start calling me names, telling me that I'm weird, telling me that I, I can't make any friends because I'm too busy creating this fake dog that will, uh, I'll never be able to get it to work. And so they grab that dog and they smash it against the ground. But then this little golden haired boy runs up and he yells at them all to stop. And his name is Robert and he's the most handsome and popular boy in the school. And so they all stop and he looks at me and grabs my hand and he lifts me up and he picks up my little robotic dog toy. And so we spend the next summer fixing it together. And when I get back to school the next year, suddenly I have this cute little robotic dog and all the kids aren't scared of me anymore. So Robert is the person who taught me how to be a friend and he was my very first friend. Even though he died really young in an accident, he showed me that I wasn't different from other kids. That I too can, can have friends and that no matter what I do, somebody will always be there to protect me. Oh. That's the end of the memory that kind of plays out and Oh my it's kind of a flashback. But there's also a strange like understanding, like you almost heard that narration as you were looking down at that hologram. She's just always been such an outcast. Yeah, and now that's probably why she never told us that she was a robot. Maybe she was afraid that she would be an outcast with us. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's take a couple more looks at some of these books. It's like we reading someone's diary. Yeah. No, it is. It is just like reading someone's diary. It's not right. Oh, Some you're of these right. things yeah. are you're private. Right. Yeah. We need to Feels find wrong. out where this virus is, and we need to work as a team I'm with the Power Rangers to save our friend. You're right. I'm with Jack. I want Vesper back right, right now. So, do we have any idea where the central processing unit is? Don't, aren't we following the Let's light? Let's see if you follow that light. As you uh, look towards the direction that the light is pulsing, a red light kind of shows up on the horizon. Guys. It's kind of beautiful, like the sun is rising or setting, and it's starting to fill the huge dark void that you have appeared in. And now the light pulses towards that direction, and then the red light begins to pulse back towards you. That's not a beautiful sun. I think we should be careful, but I think we should probably head in that direction. I'm gonna pull out my um, hyperblade blaster and just hold it. 
All right, let's move. So if all of the memories were white, like, what's this red one? Could that possibly be the Vengeance virus? I would guess so. You know, that red light troubles me, but this yellow one should trouble them. It's morphin' time! Hyperforce! Yellow! Ready! Power up! We were all morphed. I'm glad you decided to join us. <laughs> the red Better. light uh, <laughs> continues to move very slowly. It is like the sun is rising inside of Vesper. We have to hurry. By the time it comes up, that's when Vengex will have full control. All right. What? Let's sprint. Let's go. Let's go. As you uh, run towards the red light, towards the direction of the pulsing white light, you see a small figure off in the horizon. She gets larger and larger. It's Vesper, and she's just crumpled on herself, sitting on the floor, and she has more of those black tomes surrounding her. She's actually looking at one. What is she looking at right now? I'm looking at the memory of me and Eddie when I asked him out on a date. So as you run up, you find Vesper. She's reflecting on that memory. You get the sense of maybe she's been watching it over and over again. Can we see that she's times. watching what she's yes, watching? Yes, yes. You've arrived now. We were gonna go kickboxing. Are you, are you guys really here? Yeah, it's us. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, thank you, God. I'm so sorry. I can't control it from the outside. I've tried so hard. Chloe, I no, gave you a it's carrot. Okay. It's I was okay. so I, I, thought, I was so hungry. I thought carrot. Care. Yeah, I think I got it. Oh, it's I'm so okay. glad. I'm gonna okay. just give I'm gonna give her a big giant hug and lift her up. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even like touching people. Vesper, how do we get you out of here? I don't yeah. know. I don't know what's happening. I don't understand why you're in my head. I don't know how uh, he took control of me. So I don't understand to, any of this. So we we met up with this guy who created this program that's allowed us to upload lady. into it's your really weird. Okay, your so central computer. Yeah. So you guys You tried to explode my head. She Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. He didn't let him. <laughs> Thank he didn't, you. He didn't, Thank though. You he so didn't. Much. <laughs> okay, so you guys have to help her realize her strength with however you do it. Love, I don't know what you guys do, but she has to be the one that fights this virus. I've been trying this whole time. I can't do anything. But you've been anything. trying without Wait, them. Can we do it yeah. with you? Now yeah. you have us. You're not alone. You're I take... never alone with us anymore. Oh my gosh, this but is so amazing. I don't know who. <laughs> I don't know who I am. I don't know what I am. I don't. Maybe you guys should just leave. I take Vesper's no. hand. You are a Power Ranger. I put my hand on his shoulder and on her shoulder. You are a Power Ranger. You are Vesper, and you are one of us. No, but most importantly, you're a friend. But... That's right. We are the Power Rangers, Vesper. And we're only strong together. And I'm random, but let's boom time together. No, no, not in. <laughs> well, boom time Vengeance. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Not you. But you can do that. Only you can. We can't do it. I am scared. I don't know who I am anymore. What do I do? I don't, I'm just a danger to you guys. No, I've hurt no, you all. Vesper, I'm so you're not. sorry. Vesper, you're not. All of this is because we care about you. We wouldn't, we wouldn't put ourselves through this situation if we didn't care. And the thing is, we knew that you were in here. Eddie, he's, he's fought all this time because he knew you were there. We all did. And then I pull out my program, oh. Ranger Bud Wrench. Oh, God. <laughs> Ranger Bud. Vesper and Eddie. Eddie and Vesper. So I pull out mine, too. <laughs> Ranger, Ranger Buds together. together. <laughs> and as uh, the two wrenches touch, oh. and the, it almost feels like they gro are growing in your hands. Oh. The sun oh. has risen. Mm. It's not the oh. sun. Mm -mm. It's a glowing, menacing red light. It burns to look at, and it has a voice. It says, I am Vengex and your android is now mine, and now you all shall be as well. Look, only you can fight it. You're the only one who has any power in here. Okay. Vesper, it's like a dream. Anything you imagine comes true. Anything I want? Mm -hmm. What about the, oh, what was it that we used against Jen Scott's? The Vortex Blaster. Oh, yeah. <gasps> we can yeah. do that here. This is your mind, you have control. And you can make it as Just strong believe. as you want. Will you guys help me? I need everybody's help, even you. Okay. Strange golden man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I Deploy like Hyper time. Blade Blasters. All right. What oh, do we call? 
All, you, right. all we have to do is attach this weapon, shoot it at that thing. You can imagine as big of an explosion mm -hmm. as you want. Give up, you are no match for me, Rangers. He's okay. wrong, he's lying. You are a match for him. You're stronger than him and anything that can try to take over your brain. Okay? Nah, Ma, but we're stronger together. I don't, I don't know why I'm like this, but will you guys help me once I'm out of here to figure out what, what this means? Okay. Of course. Of course we will. Mm -hmm. Then on the count of three, it's boom time. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of catchy. One, two, three. It's boom time! And then right underneath your hands, what materializes is that very first team weapon that you all used together, and somehow you're configured into the mix too, Ooh, Gem. It is the Vortex Blaster, and it will only need a few pieces of energy. I think I wrote... I got 50. <laughs> <laughs> I had 12 million. What does it say, Jack? Five? Oh, which one? Where, where, boss? Oh, my vortex blaster? Yeah. Oh, oh! The team oh. weapon. Oh, this is, oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, that is, uh, that is a five energy cost, boss. But it has auto damage. It, it has auto damage of 100 <coughs> points. Whoa! Woo! And as you as work together as a team to aim that vortex blaster right up into the eye of the storm. You fire and colorful rays of energy matching all your ranger colors. I think I see a little bit of a, a gold sparkle in the, in the yellow as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it reaches up and it actually touches and makes contact with the red eye in the sky, the red light. And you hear and then all of a sudden the red light that was pulsing away from it the red rays, like the sun rising, creeping over the land um, within Vesper's programming, it retracts back. It says, yeah. give up, you are no match for me. And then all of a sudden, you feel the floor shatter as the red light is being retracted. And you feel not as bad of a headache, but also kind of like you tweaked your neck or something and you all close your eyes reel back from the pain, and when you open your eyes again, you are in the research lab of the factory floor. Whoa. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. Oh, wow, the drew a more. Ouch. Ah. I check on with Vesper to see if she how she's doing. Vesper, are, are you okay? Do you? Yeah, it's me. Ah. I, can, I can talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I try to hug her, but it's that real awkward, like, I'm gonna hug, I'm gonna oh, hug her. Oh, I grab them both and I hug them both. Yeah, it's a big hug. hug. Wait, so I have some apologies. Um, I'm sorry I shot you and punched you and threw you and punched you more. It's Bowie, okay. I'm sorry I was catty to you. That's it. Eddie, I'm sorry for almost killing you. It's okay, it was a cool first date. <laughs> Jem, Jem. What? You do you. Jack. Vesper. Sorry I lied and made you not I, to be a bad I guy. I can't tell you how happy I am that you're back. I mean, I really can't. Because we have to coordinate with M about the prisoners. We have got to exfiltrate this facility right now. Yes. Yeah, there's okay. no time to waste. When you say M, you, you hear something interesting. You hear, alert, 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 alert. It's a very small uh -huh. voice. It sounds like it's coming from one of the pockets in the apron hung on the wall in the research facility next to some lab coats. Okay. Alert, 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 alert. You must evacuate. Radiation levels might turn you into a lizard. Alert, alert, <laughs> alert, alert. Oh. <laughs> the very specific radiation. Okay, that is a... Get? We, we should get right. going now. Yeah, yeah, we should go. Do you have any more of your explosives? Yeah. Perfect, let's blow this place to smithereens. <laughs> oh wait, let's you just blow up this wing? Okay, I still have to look for the other wing, the other wing for my sister, okay? Your oh. sister, right. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, do you, no. do you oh, can I get help? that silver morpher, by the way? Oh, right. That one. Yeah. It's a great bracelet. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I think you. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, that was the best was mine. <laughs> um, alert, 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 alert. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm going to grab the lab coat. Hey, shh, who is this? Who's speaking? Exactly. So, <laughs> oh, it's me. Oh, my God. Jack, my radiation watcher. Oh, oh, yeah. It's M. I, 
Oh, hi, am I left that thing in the truck a long time ago? It doesn't How are matter, you? it doesn't matter. I, I brought reinforcements. I'm gonna get the rest of the hostages and you guys out of there. You, can you create an opening, a big distraction? Oh, I don't think I can get through the walls. We can create an opening and a big distraction. Okay, so the rest of these bombs are activated only by voice command. It's boom time, 100 decibels. Perfect. Minimum. Wait a minute. They have, have to be synchronized. Where are you? Where are your reinforcements? We're right outside. I actually found more refugees. They're on their way from Omega City all the way to Corinth. Okay, so all we need to do is just create some sort of diversion and uh, get ourselves out of here and you can handle everything else? I mean, I'll try. Okay, is there anything that you need us to do on our end while we're still inside? I think the biggest thing that you can do to help right now is to create an opening and as much chaos as possible. Chaos, that we can do. Can you set the boom time to maybe singular boom time so we could all detonate it at different times? Sure. Perfect. <laughs> Everyone. M, we are on it. We will breach the perimeter <laughs> and create a distraction. Awesome. I'm going to come in on my truck. Oh, all right, cool. great. Okay. I guess this is all right. a good spot. Wait, is this? No, okay, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hold on, no. I thought I was going that way, no, I thought I was going to. No. Okay, no, no, no. Never mind. So we will create a distraction mm -hmm. together, and then during the distraction, we'll, we will vacate and get everybody else out. You can look for your sister. Gotcha. Does that sound good? Sounds good. All right. Who are you guys those. talking to? Uh, he's got one of our. He's, Who is he? He's a, he's, a, he's a friend that we met. Who are you? There. What's your name? What's your name? My name's M. My name's Jem. Whoa. Really? Hi. Yeah. Were you in alphabet soup? How do you know about that? Because everyone named there besides me and my sister had like a letter for their name. There was actually a group named Alphabet Soup. It's oh. uh, it was our home. I never thought about it that way. K. I thought maybe it was like short for something. Could be money. Now that I think of it, I I don't have. I've never really had a last name. Huh. All right, um, uh, I'm Makes so sense. sorry. I, I do I do really want to talk to you about this, but we we're really crunched on time. I'm gonna ta take the bomb and. Uh, mm -hmm. Do I know which wall is closest to the outside? Yes, because you were lowered in a okay, containment so cell, right? And I think the wall that is closest to the research lab side yeah. is closest to the outside. Okay, and it is the same wall that was facing like where you came from. Perfect. I take the bomb, I throw it, and as soon as it gets closer, thing, it's boom time! Yeah. Got to roll. Oh, my cool. Friend. <laughs> that was an epic yell. <laughs> you got this. Super. Woo, super lightning bolt. That's an eight. Nice. As soon as it, you almost see it move across your line of sight in slow motion, and when it hits the wall. Wow, that is an amazing bomb, and a man. Huge, a huge explosion. It almost makes a perfect circle in the wall, and a few blocks fall down, the wire hangs, and then you can see out into the desert, the sun. Oh my goodness, and that disgusting orange haze that's outside. And then I think you can see in the distance, People coming in, pouring over the side of the hill. However, other grinders have noticed, uh -oh. and they're not quite sure if they should co-attack you or run out the hill and face the other people who are coming this way. All right, Rangers, we need to make sure nobody gets hurt. Ready? All right. All right, let's go. Together. Yeah. Together. And uh, I want to go out there and the, take out the grinders that are looking at those people and make sure that everybody's safe. Yeah, defend civilians. Yes. I'm going right. to take out my uh, blade blaster, switch into blade mode, and see if I can like do a slide and just like sweep two of the legs out, mm -hmm. or at least however many there are. Uh, time's sake, I'm going to say that there are four. Perfect, I want to take out four. All right, you want to <laughs> take out four. All right. Oh, uh, I, want, I want to at least do a sli uh, like a dash, so I'm like doing like a soccer slide and just sweep Absolutely, you. you do that, Ranger. You attempt to- oh, That is a seven. Should've oh. used a super. I attempt to slash. And as you attempt to slash, you go in real low and you hit him where it's vulnerable, right below the knee. And they all fall down to their knees and Perfect. then they fall backwards onto your blade and you take out four grinders. But M's group looks very strong. They're very brave. They're volunteers, even though they're refugees on a long journey to Corinth. 
They look fierce and ready to fight. And you already see two people you don't recognize, but they look friendly and they're already corralling some people out of the factory. But they're, look they're looking for some, some other ones and they, some are wandering into the factory looking for other host hostages. Hey, guys, you, you yeah. guys with, are with M's group, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, There's a, a young man, fiery orange hair, freckles. Uh, nice to meet you, buddy. Uh, he knows exactly where the containment units are, and that may be where your sisters are. Mm -hmm. Your sister. There's only one, right? That's the direction for the second wing. Okay, great. Uh, so just head down in that direction, and you should be able to make sure everybody's good to go. You look like you can handle yourself, and we will stay out here and make sure everybody can get in and out safe. All right, so uh, this one young man with fiery red hair, his name's Josh, he runs after you, Jem. Where's this containment unit? Are there other, like, Factory prisoners or something? Can I just say, I like your fiery red hair. Okay, so it's this way. <laughs> Thanks. Are we, am I taking him? Yeah, I'm gonna follow you. You go over to the containment area, mm -hmm. uh, maybe past the containment cells that you were confined in, and you find uh, other cells, uh, but only two more. Where's There's Gemma? a family of uh, three Gemma? blonde people inside a containment cell. Okay, my sister's not here. Never mind. I take out two, low, three low ex. How many? Did you say three? Containment. Sorry, you didn't say. Um, there are three people okay. back in the containment area. And it was yeah. just one containment cell. Right. Okay. Um, I throw up my little kind of bomb. No, actually, I'm original. I just kicked the door open. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, kick one of the bars open or, or something kick. like that. What do you... No, wait, wait, sorry, I grab a table and I smack the, smack the door. There's no table, okay, Matt, sorry. come on, it's a jail, there's no furniture. I got my rolling? Very sparse. Am I rolling? Yes, 2d6. Okay, 2d6. I am a ranger. I'm a ranger! Oops, sorry. That's Whoa. two, and that's one. Oh, God. It was a... Uh... Two and one. I know, that's not very rangerly, is it? Uh, as you kick both of those bars, <laughs> Am Holy like cow! Hit? You feel you ever hit, hit your uh, your shin? That's yeah. what it feels like. Ow! And a ranger! The, the three blonde um, uh, people in the room. There's uh, one young man. He has a slick back hair. He's wearing very nice clothes. Uh, a mother and a father. Who are you? Are you here to take us to work? I'm the gold power ranger. They see Get that you're the gold way. ranger. We don't need your help. And then they uh, try to like shuffle through the bars, but it's it's kind of hard to move through the bars. Can I go down there? Mm -hmm. So I run down there. What's going on? You mean, I've been These guys are he high maintenance. Oh, gosh. Who so, are you? What is with that getup? Oh, tasteless. It's the new fall look. Um, so <laughs> I look at I look at the bars. Are you going to bring us some water or parched? I don't. I'm starting to wonder why I came down here now. <laughs> uh, I started to look at my sister. I'm going to. I'm. I noticed that I look at the bars, and I'm actually going to use my ranger bud wrench to try to pry open, try loose one of the bars with my wrench to make it fall down yeah. so I can get out. Go ahead. Seven. It's rinse or threaded, and you're able to kind of loosely pop one out, and it's just wide enough between two bars now, since that you since you removed one, that uh, the family can safely escape. And they just kind of like disgustedly step past you, and like, where are off to next? You're gonna go upstairs. There's a group that's getting out of here, and then you're gonna be safe at this place called Corinth. You should go. So the two parents run away and the young man who slicks back his hair, you remember maybe his name was Chad? Oh, hey, you again. Uh, I don't know who you are, but thank you. You're and then welcome. he walks away with his you know, nice Oxford shoes and his collared shirt <laughs> uh, uh, towards the factory floor and out that hole. Both the park live together. Uh, <laughs> as they walk away, Jem and Eddie, somebody steps out of the shadows oh, of the containment oh, no. unit. Does that catch a break? And then you hear rung, rung, kind of the sound of like something rotating, a metal thing that's rotating, and they're dragging it along the bars in the back of the containment area. 
Who's there? Who's there? I am the attack bot. Generation 13. Some may call me a buzzkill. He steps out of the shadows and you just see the most horrific creation that any, somebody could have ever come up with. He's got buzz saws for hands and the elbows are also buzz saws that pivot. So he's got buzz saws like here and here. And then he's got a long channel that goes from the top of his head to the bottom of his torso. And there's a buzz saw that goes through his face, down his torso and up again. And then on his legs, he's got buzz saws that go left and right. These aren't moving, but they look very sharp and pointy. He's made completely of metal. You look fun to destroy. Uh, Eddie, run at him. Can I attack him? Let's uh, start our initiative. Oh. I'll give you the first go, yes. Jim, and then okay. I will. Okay. So you said his the the saw came down to his torso, so his groin area is exposed, right? I'm gonna run up to him. It's <laughs> just a buzz saw. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> watch, you, watch yourself there. The <laughs> irony. The kick. I want to try a kick, a ranger kick again. I'm gonna run up to him and kick him between the legs. All right. It's hot. Oh wait. Yes. Can I super it? You could super. Yes. I'm yeah. gonna super super ranger kick up the groin area of this fuzz bot. Oh, rolling two. I'm rolling to defend. Oh, double lightning. Whoa. Oh. Plus super. Yeah. Plus oh plus super, plus super. As you throw your leg back to create some leverage, charging towards this strange abomination. Luckily. The saw has raised up towards his face, <laughs> and you kick him right between the legs, yeah. and he goes stepping backwards, losing his balance, but then steadies himself again. Wow, tough. Now, Jem, you choose whose turn it's next, but Ooh. right now in the room, there's only Eddie and me, Buzzkill. I choose, oh wait, if you go last, you get two turns. I don't okay. think we, oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. If you go last, you get two turns. Oh no, but it has to go through everyone else first. They're not in the room, okay, so gotcha, they gotcha. don't count. So I, I should choose you just because we're not going to destroy you in this round. So okay. It would be a good strategy yeah. at the well, beginning I'm of the genius, round. So I choose you. <laughs> All right. Suddenly, that buzz saw moves, like you said, up towards his head, his face, and you can see. It looks like he's smiling, but there's a buzz saw, circular saw, rotating through his head, and then he actually kind of moves that circular saw up to the crown like he has some kind of weird metal mohawk, and he charges mm. forward towards you, Gold Ranger Gem. I should have used some energy. 51. Oh, I'm rolling two? Roll to defend. Uh, I've got a lightning bolt and a five. I got 16. Three. Four. So, you will get hit by this charging. Bring it! I'm gonna Ugh, I can take that. it like a man. <laughs> like a childish man. And you take seven points of damage. Ooh, you feel, feel so good. You feel it uh, almost go through your morphed armor and you yes. feel like it scraped your skin on your chest. Ooh, tickles. But it, it, you know, it did not go through any kind of major organs or anything. Thank God. Ah, Whoa. Eddie, yes. it'll be your turn. Hey, Jim. Yeah. You got any more of those tiny bombs? Yeah, like, I've got say, lots like, of tiny bombs. Give me like three of them. One, two, three. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. All right. I'm pulling out my ocean. I'm, I don't want to deal with you, Buzzkill. <laughs> I got friends upstairs. I almost got killed by girls I'm going out with. I am done. I am putting the three bomb, little bombs on my Oceanus Trident. Yeah. I'm going to run towards Buzzkill. I'm going to slide on the floor and I'm going to ultra stick the bomb on the wall I attack so that I get an Oceanus Trident attack, leaving the three bombs to explode. It's boom time. Ultra style. Woo! Get a shish kebab. They're voice detonated. Yeah. You have to yell. Roll for oh, that I attack. Uh, I should, uh, I forgot. I should give you a point of energy for the accessible, successful, successful attack. 
again. So I've got 12, 12 million and one now? Yeah, right. <laughs> and now, well, 52. <laughs> and go ahead. Okay, I accept that graciously. Thanks for the bombs, Jim. Mm -hmm. You're truly outrageous. Yeah. Truly, truly, truly Just outrageous. Just Jim! <laughs> <laughs> Slide! It's boom! Try it time! Uh, <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Eight total. Oh. oh, but you had an ultra, yeah, so you... Yeah, the ultra. Oh, oh, nice. Not too late. That's with the ultra. Oh. Ooh. Oh. That's the extra dice, right? Oh. I hate when she uh -huh. says that. She's like, oh, just oh. add it. And you're like, I did. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> As you slide in real low, uh, you actually kind of miscalculated and you, you know, skid on your knees, but actually the trident does catch the last prong, catches on nice. Buzzkill's leg. <laughs> and then all the buzz saws start rotating on his body. What is this? And uh, it does get hit. Roll three for damage. Woohoo! Voice detonated! Did, 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 the, did the bomb stick? The one did, right? Yeah. Just yeah. one? It should be one. Okay. So you have two more on the other prongs of your fork. Oh, okay. It's! <laughs> <laughs> Six, seven, eight. So it takes uh, eight points of damage. Nice. Uh, let's cut back to Vesper, Marv, Chloe, Jack. You've secured many civilians. You've taken down some grinders. It seems like M and the rest of the refugees have it under control with the uh, Chaz and his family kind of slauntering out of the containment area. It seems like they're clear and, and, and it's safe, but more grinders are trying to rush out towards them on their tail. What do you do? Um. It looks like these guys have got it covered. Eddie, Eddie, uh, we, we got the, the prisoners you sent our way. How's everything going down there? Oh, uh, we got a giant monster whip that's completely made out of buzz saws, and we tried to blow it up, but it hit Jim, and it hit me, and we're kind of scared, and if, the, you know, Yeah, we're, 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 on, we're on our way, we're on our way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, have you. Have you guys got everything under control? Can you guys handle these grinders? So, Jack is the one with the walkie-talkie. I have, it, I have it right here. Jack! Jack, why yeah. did you ask her what I was meaning to ask her this whole time? Em, well, what's the status on the civilians? Are you all clear of the area? Um, you know, with Chaz and his family, I think that's, I think that's everybody. I mean, did you, did you notice any new refugees when you were back there? Well, just the, this one. I clamor over to Jack. Jim! I mean, Em! Em, guess what? I'm a robot, and I turned evil, and I almost killed everybody, but now I'm okay again. <laughs> so I hear kind of this babble about being a robot in the background of the walkie-talkie, and I'm like, I don't trust robots. No, I'm fine. Right, guys? Uh, she, she's fine. It's, she's it's a long fine. Story. Uh, we just want to make sure that everybody's okay. Is everybody okay? Uh, I'm worried about you guys. I think I saw a enormous saw-based attack bot wander into the factory. Are, are you guys going to be okay? Sparks! Oh, 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 we will deal with that side of right now. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on, guys. Together. We will call you back. The, the refugees are safe. I think I got it from here. Yeah. We're coming, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. Take your time. I'm running over. Is Eddie, Eddie, are you okay? <laughs> well, Eddie! Uh, uh, there's a, a, whose turn is it? Are we in? Are we back? Uh, if you all want to run to that back room, you can continue the round. We need so, to help Eddie. Eddie. We would like to, yes. yes. Uh, We're whose team, turn will be next? Yeah. So, uh, so, so I call, I call, well, I was on the, the communicator with Marv, so yes, Marv. Okay, uh, as I get there, I see that he's doing that. I pull out my uh, Iapetus spear launcher, mm -hmm. and I, I want to make sure I take my time just so I can lock on, mm -hmm. and I'm going to super shoot him. All right, super shoot, buzz kill. That is gonna be a 10. Uh, that, roll for damage. Oh, uh, it's, I'm doing the, the, the steady 12. Oh, steady so 12. So it's gonna take two energy. Awesome, awesome. So you took two, two energy to use mm -hmm. that awesome gun, and it is flaming, it fires straight <laughs> into, right towards Buzzkill, and one of the hands kind of 
reaches out to block it and it <laughs> spins, but instead it catches on the sphere and it kind of spins towards his face and it totally jams the, the gear, the spinning circular saw on his right hand and also the saw that's going through his face. Rookie mistake. Vesper, now that you're back, yeah. why don't you handle this one? All right, so, <laughs> Mmm, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take out my Cerberus Axe and completely extend it. And I'm gonna go for, um, I'm gonna continue the damage that Gem started and just go on during, to his weak spot where there's not any blades. What do you have for me, robot? <laughs> Watch who you're calling robot. It's called an android. I'm yeah. still trying to figure this out, so. Be more, be more sensitive. So I you and I my... are one and the same. You don't have it in you. You're nothing <laughs> like him, Vesper. I'm Go nothing forward, like you. Mind. I have friends, I have feelings, and I'm not completely sure about why this is happening to me, but I know that I'm not just a robot. So I use my Cerberus Axe and I slice up. Ooh. Uh, and that's a steady 12 damage and two energy costs. Uh, roll a hit. Uh, uh, eight. Nice, <laughs> Did you use any of the buffs? I did not. You did not. As you try to attack Buzzkill, he actually pivots at the hip, gives you a disgusting smile, the circular saw rotating through the very center of his face, and then pivots up and actually dodges your attack, Vesper. No. Whose turn is it next? You got Chloe, you got Jack. Uh, Chloe, help! No. I'm gonna do something really amazing. Um, Eddie, can I borrow two of those bombs that are? Yeah, I got more. You got more? Oh, yeah. He's, he's oh, throwing them. Okay, I, I'm gonna take three and I'm gonna put. One, two, three. Them, I'm gonna pull out my Hyperion bow and I'm oh. gonna place the bombs on them. Their <sighs> voice activated. I know, man. There's two, two bombs left. <laughs> two. Two left, right? I'm trying to keep. 52 energy, does oh. that mean one for each one? No. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's give you that two. Two? Yeah. Right. So I give you the two that I. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, so I've got two left? No, it's just two. Oh, okay. Period. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put them on uh, my arrows. And uh, my Ooh. Hyperion bow shoots multiple arrows um, right. at a time. And mm -hmm. I'm going to aim it at this. Uh, this Bomb tipped arrows. Nice. Bomb tipped arrows Ooh. at Buzzkill. And Where are you aiming? Groin! Buzz Groin! I got his hand thing, right? This one's jammed. Okay, I'm gonna aim for the right. My, yeah, with my left, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Your left and then uh, your right foot. Okay, all right. You're like Phoenix side. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, all right. I'm gonna super it too. You super right. let those arrows fly. There's bombs on the tips of them. Come on, Chloe! You got this, Chloe! Boom! You, you got this, Chloe! You got this! Boom you can do it! The total. Give me the total. S seven. That's boom. not bad! It's boom time! <laughs> <laughs> uh, as one hits the foot and then the other hit the hand, it actually does make contact, but the bombs, they uh, kind of clink off of Buzz kill. It's like they didn't quite hear your boom time loud enough. <laughs> yeah, and then suddenly, suddenly, there's a green energy. Buzz kill starts to charge up. It's vibrating green all around him. Oh, what is it doing? And it feels like it's very happy about this occurrence. <laughs> but that did. So the arrows landed. Uh, they did. They did, uh, they did not do damage. They did not explode. Okay. Um, Jack! <coughs> you should do something. You guys, I'm taking a look at this thing. It's starting to grow. We what? Have to, we have to make a decision. Do uh, we escalate this, or do we try to fight it as is? Well, if it's growing, we have no choice. Well, I mean, look at it. Look, it's making weird noises, and it's twitching. Drop it's King escalate. of Hearts doing that, man. Escalate. <laughs> I, I say the we, monster slowly, as you notice, is getting a little bigger and bigger. Oh now it's as tall as one of those containment cells. Vesper, Eddie, Chloe, Marv, Jim. Is it time to bring out Troy? 
<laughs> is it time? Wait, we can't. They're locked onto our ship, which is millions of miles away. We can't just call a Zord for it to come. I mean, we could do whatever we want. Can we? Can? I'm gonna yeah. give you a point of energy, Jack, to make uh, because you were talking about never escalating, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Never we, escalating, unless we're talking about escalating. But the mon yeah, but the monster's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah, Look, we've nasty. never we've never summoned our Zords before. Who knows if we could do it now? Now that Alpha's gone, we can't we can't ask him to send our Zords over. Yeah, Guys. that's that's true. Ven Venjik still might be an issue. Jim, do you have a Zord? Yeah, I'm just gonna call mine. You can just call yours. Yeah. Well, come on. Let's see what he does. Come okay, on, what yeah, you sure. got? I mean, go for it. Chicken Zord, come to me! You don't actually have to say anything. You just call it. Use your heart and just call it. Yeah. Guys, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Right. Um, when just I was, believe. When I was in my own head, I was researching some stuff, and the our morphers aren't connected to Vengex. <gasps> Ooh. They're not. Really? Wait, really. So mm -hmm. what happened? Perfect. Okay, well, well, we'll talk about that later. Okay, uh... Lions are the lions are the lions. I feel it! I feel yeah. it! Yeah, see, so just call it. My yeah. chicken's already flying up there. Phoenix Hyper Zord! Hyper Lion Zord! Serpent Hyper Force Zord! Online! Cerberus Hyper Zord! <laughs> uh, Eddie's appears in front of him. Beautiful Serpent Zord. Nice. Ah! Chicken Zord! Not nobody else's appears except for uh, the Falcon Zord as well. What? The Falcon. Why Hyper Zord? So Jim and Eddie Zord? have uh, their Zords. Yes. What did you say, Eddie? I said Serpent Hyper Force Zord online. Uh. Why uh, Hyper Force Zord online? Cerberus Hyper Force Zord. Ford Zord. Zord Ford. What did I say, Eddie? Hyper Force Zord online. Force. Cerberus Hyper Force Sword online! Phoenix Ram. Hyper Force Sword online! You got it! Oh. This is our first time, man! Rip, rip, Ram Hyper Force Sword online! Beautiful. So, all your Zords appear. And, Jim, you're already inside of I'm yours. I'm already in mine! Uh, Eddie, you're inside of yours. Woo. And then, as you Feel the need to like be inside your Zord, you're teleported in, and now you're in the cockpit of all your Zords. And Buzzkill is now outside of the factory, uh, just kind of wrecking havoc, turning his, not this one, the left hand, rotating the circular saw that is of his left hand, and he's actually trying to like kind of claw at the sand with his circular saw as M and the refugees make their way away. They're running away from the factory and many grinders are running around. They're looking up at Buzzkill, cheering, clapping their hands. Uh. I'm gonna go first if you would, if, uh, to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay. all right. Since I escalated as the villain, <laughs> <laughs> And I turn towards all of you, and I notice the particularly shiny chicken Bring it. running my way. It looks like a helicopter with a chicken's face. It sounds it's, like a chicken, too. But it also looks like it has missiles for cheeks or something like that, some projectiles. Yeah, and I turn towards you, and I just try to activate this saw and make it start rotating and try to uppercut your chicken Come right underneath me. the beak. Um, Am I rolling three? Four. You're gonna roll to defend, you're gonna roll three. Don't fry me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Come at me. Lightning bolt, three and a two. Total? Uh, is that six, nine, 11? 11. As the hand moves slowly, <sighs> It seems like it's quick, but it seems like slow motion. Oh, it actually catches underneath the beak of your oh. chicken zord, and you feel each tooth oh. of that saw. Oh. Your entire zord, and then he comes down oh. on you. This The circular saw on his elbow comes crashing down on top of oh. your falcon zord, and you feel it crack the oh. dashboard of your falcon zord. And you take... My dashboard! Uh, 11. <sighs> Ooh. 25 points of damage. Ah, I can take it! Yeah. I can take it. Buzzkill is going to give Vesper a turn. 
All right, you weird saw thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my tail mace. Um, it adds a d6 to damage. Okay. You still roll three d6 to attack. All right, so I'm rolling my four d6s. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I got six, 10, 13, 14. 14. Uh, as you raise the tail and watch your magnificent Cerberus Zord try to whip its mace right in the direction of Buzzkill, it actually catches the mace with one of its hands and then it rotates its circular saw, and it actually throws your Zord away in the office. It sends it spinning through the sand, uh, and you were not able to hit it. You feel very weak, like a child's toy clinking against a real metal saw. Guys, I can't do any damage here. Maybe, maybe uh, one of the other ones can. Maybe maybe it's, it's weak to something. Whose turn is it, uh, Vesper? Chloe, can you take this? Uh, yeah, I definitely can. I mean, maybe I can, maybe I can use my phoenix feathers. Uh, it makes a spiraling dive slashing enemies on its way down. I mean, it could do something, right? Yeah. Yeah, we believe in you. Okay, I believe in me too, yes. I'm gonna do it. Go, Go Chloe. Kaboom. Oh. Ooh, woo. 17, very on brand. Yay! <laughs> the total? 17. 17. Nice. And it's kind of like pink spinning down like a strawberry? Yeah, but actually. Yeah. <laughs> As you fly up Magnificent Phoenix Zord, up into the sky, actually up, up, up beyond the orange haze of this disgusting world, it goes through the clouds, down, spiral, spiraling quickly, and then you see Buzzkill grow larger and larger, and suddenly, it actually reaches up the buzzsaw that's not working. It's still a buzzsaw, and it catches. It catches on your Zord and actually pummels you down very quickly into the ground. And then you feel the other. Uh, you feel his saw kind of hammering on down you like a hammer, as your attack was not successful and he was actually able to catch you out of the air and push you into the ground. How is this thing so strong? Uh, Marv, I need some major help. Uh, we all need some major help. Is there any way that we can power up our Zords? So you guys are pretty noobish with your Zords, right? Do you know you can create a Mega Zord? You feel Gem coming what? over what? through your comms. A what? A what? Combining a all your Zords into a big... Ball? Sure. Is this another bomb thing? No. It's a big robot thing. Wait. How do we do that? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple. You just kind of like sink all your energies of your Zords and combine. Well, look, whatever whatever this is, it, even though it may be far-fetched and their programming is different than ours, it might be worth a shot because there's no way that we can take this thing down. We took out two of our strongest Zords. You know, we, we need to we need to amp this up a bit. We I need think, to... Yeah, and I think, I think Jim's on to something. If I remember some of my history, even though we are in not the same time period, there have been time periods where we're from where other rangers have been able to combine their zords in some kind of manner. That's true, it's well, a story. That's what Dr. K created, so you can do it. As you guys are talking, you hear all of this, Chloe. However, you feel that big, gigantic buzzsaw <coughs> slamming down through the top of your zord like a hammer. Your zord is holding right now. Chloe, cool, are you okay? Know for how much longer? Oh, Guys, God. we need to figure something you're out right, quick. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, if there is a Hyperforce Megazord, we are gonna need that Hyperforce Megazord power now. Sync your energies with me, guys. What do we do? What do we say? Just, just, just think about the team. Think about each other. Be, be open and just try to do whatever we can to unite our Zords. You can do it. Focus on each other. Okay, all right. Uh, Ouch! Ah! Is it working? <laughs> I totally feel you guys' energy! Uh, and as you say, we need mega... We need Hyperforce Megazord power! As we need Hyperforce Megazord power, you feel a connection. A That's very all I needed deep to do. Now, profound connection 
between you as friends, as team members, as fighters, and as power lifters. <gasps> and suddenly you feel, Chloe, your, your Zord being retracted through the sand Ooh. away from this huge circular saw that was hammering down on your Zord, sinking your Zord deeper and deeper into the sand. But you actually feel like you, you're now underground and you slide through the sand and you feel the sand moving over your dashboard. And uh -oh. same with you, Vesper, you, suddenly your Zord readies itself and you feel like your Zords are kind of autopilot and they're moving closer and closer together into a magnificent configuration. And then suddenly, suddenly your chairs actually feel like they click in and then Whoa. doors open behind you and you slide backwards through many channels and you see glimpses of each other <gasps> sliding. It's like a very interesting <laughs> ride. Wait, where are you going? It's and whatever then, I said, write it down for next time. <laughs> and finally, your st seats stabilize in the main cockpit. You get the sense of you're inside a giant robot human and you're looking out through its eyes and you can see Buzzkill, his uh, arms still in the sand, thinking he was still hammering Chloe's Zord deeper and deeper into the sand. And he looks up, scared to see this Megazord. Whoa. And in a show of fear or bravery, he gets all his saws start rotating as fast as possible. He tries to puff himself up, make himself seem as fierce as possible. Hey guys, this is really cool, but how do we attack? I don't know. I just want to kick him to the moon. Who's the leg? Think it. Who's Can you the do leg? It. Think it. Okay. Um, I'm the leg. Do we get to flip this? Uh, go ahead now. Flip your swords. The Whoa! First time. Whoa! Whoa! This is so dope. Whoa! Hey, it looks like Eddie's the leg. I am the leg. <laughs> I'm the leg. <laughs> Guys, let's soccer kick this dude into next week. Let's I like do it. it. Let's. I like it. And when we kick, I'll even spray a little bit of water because if there's one thing I really hope that saws don't like is getting wet. <laughs> yeah. That will possibly rust it, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you control the leg, do you want to kick on him? Will do. And then you're in your falcon zord and you see this magnificent mega zord. Thanks, chicken guy. So guys, it looks like somebody has to be the center, the heart of the zord. Right Who now, it would be Marv. Oh, and that's me. It looks like me. it's you, Marv. That's me. <laughs> I'm the wings like a butterfly. <laughs> All right. It sounds like you want to attack first. Now it's like a two, it's like a two person fight. Megazord uh, versus Buzzkill. Can I perch on this shoulder? Oh, and <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that to you. And, and of course you get another turn because oh. that's a diff different Zord. So it is the our Hyperforce Megazord, Buzzkill, is, and the Falcon Zord. Oh, sweet! Right. You've upgraded. So where, where do I go? <laughs> uh, okay, so I think it'd be great if you could just circle around him to get his attention. Then while he's not looking, Eddie, you kick him into the moon. That's what you're trying to do. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and when we kick, if if we can, let's. Blow him up and say it's boom time. So he just <laughs> flies off into the moon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because why not? Or oh, maybe when I'm like flying around, <gasps> I, I like put some bombs on his butt, and then when you kick that, that sets him off. I like that. <laughs> Let's try that. Okay. Can All I? All right. Can Falcon I use, Zord, go first. Can I use some energy since I've got forty-seven? Abs absolutely. You have many special attacks. Is this like the last boss? Oh, we don't know that, do we? Doesn't matter. All right. Let's. <laughs> I use ten. Ten energy to uh, put the rest of my missiles <laughs> on his butt. And you have, I think, twelve <laughs> missiles. Okay. So you're gonna. Uh, you're oh, gonna do I want to use all of them? Of course, it's the last boss. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> <don't worry. laughs> you're gonna circle around, buzz killing your helicopter-like yeah, falcon you, zord. Okay. I the use, face of a chicken. Oh, if it's the last boss, am I using all of my energy? No. Okay, 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 fine. I use 10 energy and I fly around to distract them while every rotation I'm putting on like a missile on his So butt. you try to fly as many circles as possible around Buzzkill's uh, head. It's almost like you're an annoying yellow bee or like something. Fly. 
uh, flying around and you fire all 12 of your missiles and I think there is something special about those missiles. But I'm I not think setting aisle. them off. I'm not setting them off. I'm waiting for the kick to like set them off. Oh, you're waiting for the Megazord? Yeah, I'm like sit like firing it. so, so it attaches uh, on his butt. We'll do it as a team attack. Now the Megazord, yeah. that's the plan Ooh. here. All right. Yes. Am I three? Uh, yes, Team attack. Yeah, uh, we want to, we want him to attach the missiles on his butt, but then turn him around so he's looking at the thing. Yeah. We want to kick as hard as we can with the serpent one sure. while, like, shooting water, I guess? Sure. Yes. To, to not at it. the bomb, though, right? No, no, no. Not at the bomb. Shooting water at it and then kicking it in the bum and exploding it. Yeah. And then... And, and, these, and these missiles, too, they're, they're voice activated, too. Perfect. <laughs> do but we you all know have to sink it? Yes. All right, great. Let's do it. Okay. Right. So, uh, the Megazord rolls in a very special way. The chat room hasn't seen this before. Everybody rolls 1d6, cool. and you add them. Not you, because you're not in the Megazord. All right, right, right. You're, sure, sure, sure. You have this fabulous falcon. Understood. Chicken. You're the heart of the Zord this time. In this configuration, you're going to roll 2d6, Marv. Great. And then, what, let's add. So, what did you get, Vesper? Do we have any more? Three! No, we Three! Okay. That is going to be a 13. So, it's nice. total 13. 15? 15 total. 20! 20. Ooh. Kaboom! No, no. Oh, 26. 26. Woo! <coughs> Is that enough? And then, uh, I think you guys have a special attack on your Megazord. Are you special using ability? Titan yeah. Assault. Barrage of rapid fire homing missiles receives. Ooh, nice. You guys haven't got a chance to read your cards yet. So no. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have the Titan Assault, a barrage of rapid fire homing missiles. Enemy receives disadvantage on dodging attack. Disadvantage on dodging? That happens a lot. I get disadvantage on dodging. We yeah. seem to get disadvantage. Sorry, boss. Yes, you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, In this situation, it, I'll get disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bad for her. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to go ahead and use that? Yes. 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 All yes. Right. So, as the Falcon Zord yeah. cir circles around and around, Buzzkill now unleashing all the missiles as soon as the Megazord tries to kick and then fire all of its projectiles towards Buzzkill. They surround Buzzkill as Buzzkill kind of moves. They're almost like a homing projectiles and they all land in different parts of Buzzkill on his face, on both sides, on his. Uh, saws on his elbows, it, within the channel that is the, the circular saw on his chest, on his legs that go left and right, and it goes <laughs> it's like fireworks, explosions, explosions, explosions. What? And then you guys, uh, is there auto damage on that? No. Uh, no. no. I'm gonna, for uh, speed's sake, I'm gonna roll the damage for you. Oh my goodness. Mm. That's Good having a lot of one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, all right. As it goes around, you also have to roll for damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many? One yes. or two? Three. 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 Kaboom! Whoa. Whoa. Five, three, and a four. That's nine, twelve. Okay. Uh, all those missiles hit on Buzzkill, and suddenly all the buzz saws are like jammed. He's still standing, sure. but he can't move. That would be my turn, but Buzzkill can't move in this moment. Nice. All right, let's, the, the, the kick first time didn't work, now let's use a ram kick, then we'll boom time him. Hopefully that'll work. All right, All right. let's do this, guys. As you guys are running up to kick this uh, Buzzkill, Kilobyte actually runs out of the ah, factory. Oh. What are you doing, Rangers? No, I can take you down. Bring him on. Can uh, I just step on him? <laughs> <laughs> sure, let's we'll do that. No, because Eddie and I are the feet. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we can step on him. On him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we like not unknowingly just be like, like, wait, where's that coming from? And step backwards and just step onto him. <laughs> sure, maybe you take care of this guy first. Yeah, let's let's kick this guy into outer space really quick. Let's do it. All right. Six. Whoa! <laughs> 18. 19. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Uh, 23. 23, 28. And he goes for the kick. And the Whoa. Megazord goes for the kick, <laughs> and then Kilobyte actually 
as measly and small as he is now compared to the Megazord, he actually tries to stop. No, I must preserve the tech bot. And they both get kicked high up into the air and then away, they away, have to use the voice. away. Come on. Ready? Do that. Ready, guys? Three, two, one. It's boom time! <laughs> and Buzzkill, who is probably dead, or excuse me, excuse me. Destroyed. Be destroyed. Yeah. Destroyed. Uh, and Kilobyte, who was very injured, was sent away 4,319.2 wow. miles. Wow. <laughs> like like the sparkling yeah. in the sky, like anime, right? When he goes, exactly. We're going to get it! 119.2 miles. Woo. See you again soon! <sighs> hey guys, we came, he saw, we conquered. Yeah! Oh, okay. You have we a magnificent sure view of your victory, however, the factory is in shambles. You've blown a hole in the side of one wall. You blew up three generators. Yeah. Civilians were almost stepped on, and we did not find any extra people in that containment cell. <sighs> to be fair, we this was already an abandoned place anyways for our grinders, so at least we could rest assured that we didn't hurt anybody. Look, Marv, this isn't even our dimension. What are we doing here? We need to... Yeah, can we Guys, get out of here? I did some research, and Jack's right. This isn't our dimension. This isn't our timeline. Anything that happened here today is not going to affect our future. Sorry, Jem. It's... It's okay. Ruined. I've had yeah. a lot of fun, but i got to find my sister. Wait, you didn't find your sister through all that? Mm. I'm, I'm so sorry, man. We're sorry. It's okay. I'm going to find her. Oh, well, you're surprisingly positive. Let's get out of these Zords and wait a minute. If these Zords are functional, that means so is our ship. <gasps> Sweet. So whatever virus we took out of her may have detonated all of the Vengex viruses, at least in so our So then Alpha is back? Alpha 55, are you online? Alpha? Alpha! You hear like the signal being picked up, but you don't hear any response. Eddie, do you still have our teleporter um, linked back to the ship? Let's check. Checking teleporter to see. <laughs> uh, it seems like the ship is on, but it's unresponsive. Hmm. Guys, let's use this Zord and run back to the ship. <laughs> okay. Before we go, um, thank you. We couldn't have done it without you. You're a little bit insane. Cuckoo, some might say, but you're incredibly intelligent and you have Helped us so much. Jem, are you gonna be able to help the people here? I mean, they need you. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, once I find my sister, I'm gonna go and we're gonna destroy as many grinders as we can. Well, hey, why don't we, before we go, why don't we just go down there and just make sure all the civilians that we almost stepped on are okay. Just to be sure, just to double check. Sure. I got yeah. this. Is there like an intercom on the Zord? <laughs> <laughs> For like, you, Vesper, like yes. Like a PA. <laughs> Hello. As, actually, as you push your finger, down on the button, you feel like it's connected. It's connected to your Zord, your Megazord. Hey, hello, humans. Humans, I'm cute. Oh, that's up to debate. Anyways, we're sorry we're almost stepped on you. We're the Power Rangers and we're from a different time. My name is Vestifer and I just found out I was a robot. It's kind of a new, so. Um, but anyways, we just wanted to make sure you're okay because we gotta get back to our ship. Um, you have a crazy ranger here. His name is Jem. Uh, good luck with that. But I'm glad you're safe. Tell How em, was that? Tell Emily say hi. And the rest of the rangers say hi. Marvin, you barfed on me. I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to say it's good to have you back. Oh, I take off my ringer. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good to have you back. Thank you. Yeah, and, uh, it's really great to have you back. Jem, I hope that you can handle everything here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure that there, if you're here, and your sister's another ranger operator, I'm sure that this world is gonna be just fine. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Nice Thanks meeting so. you. Nice, nice meeting you, Chicken Thanks Zord. for telling me boon time, creating yeah, that. Yeah, of course. Wow, look at Bye. me, trendy. So you see Falcon Zord go off into the sunset, and then actually you notice a flow on the ground. Those are the refugees. It's M's caravan. You recognize her big orange truck, and they're all headed off in a different direction. If you remember, it was the direction of Corinth. However, you want to take the Megazord back to your time ship. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the Megazord drifts you back to the time ship, and then it actually teleports you down to the front of it. And um, can we attach the Zords back onto the time ship? 
and it actually re automatically reconfigures oh. back onto the time Convenient. shift. Convenient. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's go in there and see how Alpha is doing. Yeah. So we walk back into the time shift. Yeah. Do we see Alpha? Alpha's on the ground. He's still Alpha's, Alpha's, Alpha's on the machine. ground, and many of the displays, they're on and powered, and there is no trace of this red light. However, some things seem dilapidated. So, guys, Alpha was a robot. I am now a robot. So you're Alpha? Don't call me Alpha. I'm Vesper. Alpha can now be used as junk metal. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Before you do that, um, now that you've come back from all this and we found out that you are a robot, yes. which don't makes you just as amazing as ever, Maybe you might have more insight on how to bring Alpha back to life. As a fellow robot, I'm sure you understand yeah. well, how important we'll, he is to us. We'll figure that out later. But when I was in the Megazord, when I was activating the technology, I guess now that I know that I'm an android, I was able, I felt like I was connected directly to the Megazord. So maybe if I try that here, I can pilot us out of this dimension. You can connect to the ship? I think so. So I want to go up to the console. Remember that big red button? Yes. It's empty now. It's like a big red channel. So, um, oh, what do I do? Uh, maybe you could try to hack into it and literally talk to it. Maybe you can actually talk to tech. Maybe that's why you've been so good with all this technology. Vesper, we gotta get out of this timeline. Okay, leave it to me. So I go up to the red button, mm -hmm. or where it was, yeah. And I put my hand inside of it. And the channel. And then it actually fits perfectly like glove. And you feel that, remember that white pulse of light that was beating through you, like your life? Mm -hmm. It can now pulse through the ship. Wow. And starting from where your hand is plugged in, that white light actually pulses through the ship. And then the ship is powered back on. All systems seem online. Guys, I think we can leave. That's great. Now all we need to figure out is when to leave, too. Well, how about... Vesper would know that you'd have to jump to the hyper uh, stream first. Let's go to the hyper stream, and then we'll take it one step at a time from there, okay? That sounds good. Do it. All right. And suddenly, you just think about going to the hyper stream and it, it fills your entire body. It's this one thought. You're trying to concentrate as much as possible. And suddenly, those lights that are pulsating out of you, they fill the entire ship. And then you feel the ship move from the rubble. Remember, you guys crash landed through a warehouse. And you feel like it is lifting, but also drifting away, dissolving. And then it hits like a wall. And as you look, outside of like the viewport, you can see that familiar, eerie, mysterious black, purple, and rainbow stream that you have been in before. You did it. We're back in hyperspace. We're back in Yay! hyperspace. We're here nice to win Vesper. <laughs> Woo! And uh, can I talk to you in private, Vesper? Um, I mean, you're kind of, of logged in, my but... Hand uh, in the ship. <laughs> um, could I have a time, a moment alone with her, if that's all right with you guys? Really? Just, <laughs> don't worry, <laughs> nothing, nothing like that. Of course, Eddie, of course, you know, you know I'm your man. Come on, Eddie, let's go make a burrito. <laughs> you know, we've never made burritos together. We've, ne we've never done that? Yeah, no, we haven't, let's do it. Make me something with steak, please. <laughs> all right, Got it. sure, whatever. Uh, look, I remember when we were in there and you said you weren't sure of yourself. You weren't sure who you were or any all, anything like that. I just want to let you know that I'm not a human either. What? Yeah, and I, I wanted to disclose that to you because I want you to know that you don't have to feel like an outsider. What are you? It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm from another planet, but... You're I'm, an alien? You're an alien? Well, technically, aren't we all aliens? Look, my point is... My brother once told me when I was younger, and I was really, really unsure of all that stuff, and I was scared, and I didn't know who I was either. He told me, you can be whoever you choose to be. You're not tied down by your origin, so you can be a human if you want. You can have emotions. You can be everything that we all are. I just, I don't understand. I bleed. I have all these memories. I don't know if they're real. I don't know who created me or what I'm here for. Well, then let's figure all that together. 
Okay. That's what that's what a team's for. Thanks for trusting me with that. I won't tell anyone that you're an alien. Uh, I, I'll I'll talk to them about it. It's not really a big deal. I mean, we have aliens on Earth. All right. Um. All right. So the camera pans out as Marv and Vesper have a little chit chat in the background. Chloe is very excited to go back to the Insta Kitchen <laughs> and <laughs> create a new concoction, maybe inspired by her adventures in RPM. Jem is on his way in his fabulous Falcon Zord, helping those refugees on their way to Corinth, but also looking in search of his sister. I'm going to cast a disapproving glance at that guy. <laughs> we'll talk about what we need to talk about soon, I swear. Uh -huh. I'm going to call this the Jim Rito. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you. Power Rangers Hyper Force, what an adventure. I hope ooh, you had ooh. so much fun. Oh. I did too. I thought very long and hard about this episode. I missed you guys so much. It's <laughs> like you, you don't realize what you have. And then Aww. I was like, oh, I guess we're not having Hyper Force this week. And there, you know, there was incredible fires all around here in Southern California. Uh, props to all the brave people who've been fighting the fires and I'm so glad that we're back this week. Yeah. Whoop. Sounds like we have some giveaways. Whoop. Whoop. Actually, uh, we didn't hit it, so. What? No, we didn't, we didn't hit it. Really? No. Oh. We'll get there next time. Okay. What <laughs> I'll let you know next time so we don't have that awkwardness. What, we'll have a buzz kill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Stick around. We're going to be hanging out over here in the corner answering some questions for you anytime soon. But we do have a very special announcement from... Peter, that not about him being an alien. No, uh, no, we'll oh. talk about that next time. Um, so, as most of you guys know, I play Power Rangers Legacy Wars, and if you guys do too, there is a really, really exciting thing coming out this week. Um, my character, Preston, is being added onto <gasps> Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Yeah! Yeah! yeah, so if you guys want to know more about it, go ahead and check out their YouTube, and um, they should have the character description. Uh, that's the, the YouTube coming out tomorrow. All right, just, what did I say? Uh, <laughs> keep an eye on uh, Inway and Power Ranger Legacy Wars Twitter and Facebook page. You'll be able to see that video tomorrow. Yes, Preston's awesome. going to be on Legacy Wars. Yeah! yeah. yeah. That's Friday, awesome. Challenge Preston himself. Uh, I don't know how to use them either, so it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. And I think I'll be giving away some codes. So uh, it'll be really, really fun. That's right. Tune in this Friday. Uh, it's going to be really great. So stick around, guys. Thank you so much for another amazing week. And thank, thank you, our special guest. Mike. Thank you for having me. Woo! Thank you for breaking the game before it even started. Explosive <laughs> 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 energy. Explosive energy. We, yeah, right. We found uh, out. We thank know you. Spirit for, bomb. I didn't for the couple, it. For the couple people who tried to break the game, we logged your usernames. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my behalf. Oh. Thank you, guys. No, I'm kidding. But. It wasn't a hack necessarily of them like lying to the system. Ah. And we caught it, and we know what's up. We know who you are. We you know, know what? who you are. Nobody, nobody has to cheat. You can all get ahead by playing it straight, just like us. I you want to cheat for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, thank you guys so much. Stick around. We'll be right back. Woo!